There you go. Oh, what's good? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ITC Podcast, episode <laughs> 80. Ross, starting off as usual. It gets him every time, bro. I don't know what that was, bro. Laugh. What was that? Ooh, what was that? I mean, you know, when you, when you get it right. It's, so, it's zesty. Know, yeah. <laughs> when you get the right pop. Oh, the juicy fruit, fruit man. No, it's the right pop, the huh? Right pop. This, this conversation started off interesting, huh? Just like how you do when you pop your uh, your bottle, your wine bottle, your champagne. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. It's, it's that, yeah. Um, yeah. What, what, what? What you was doing? You said, um, That's that. His go backwards. He didn't want to try it. it was, it's a difficult sound effect to make. That's right? when you put his back on. <laughs> um. But but we, now, uh, we back in this thing. We are back. Um, this is episode 80. Like Ooh. I said before. 80 of the thing. We Andre a, Johnson. <laughs> yes, sir. We have a special guest today. Yes, we do. I'm gonna it's let not her Andre introduce Johnson. Herself. I got the passing switch, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna let her introduce herself, her name, her social media, so that way y'all can mm-hmm. go follow her um, to join in on the woman's side. So, yeah. who are you? What's your name? Hello. My name is Alexi. My <laughs> social media is underscore Alex Blazing. Okay. L-E-X-B-L-A-Z-Z. I am. Hey, Dove. Yeah, the blaze. Puts it on there. All right, gives me what works. <laughs> 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 but now, yeah, uh, we wanted to bring Lexi on to get some uh, woman's perspective on some of the subjects that we have today. Mm-hmm. Last week we got on the men. Yeah. Um, so this week we want to, you know, give some light to the women. Uh, you can call it light, you can call it. Any other word that you women use to get on men talking about <laughs> women? Oh, what do you mean, you women? Yeah. You. Like, what do you mean? You women. women. You women. I ain't talking about those why men. Why does it have to be a <laughs> You know how some people be like, like the sex, like, why does it have to, like, be the yeah. Like, why? Like, I don't imagine. I'll be telling my wife something. I'll be like, whoa, man. Are you one of those? Whoa, man. Get it? Yeah. Whoa, man. Get it. See? Like, yeah. Whoa, yeah. 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 Get it. Whoa, man. Oh. Uh. Oh man! Ooh, what if that's the title of the pie? Whoa, man! No, it's not. Honestly, this. never mind. Just kinda... <laughs> not this just episode. Stop. Got a little, got a little sticky. But um, <laughs> we didn't talk about R. Kelly last week. Sheesh! Um, oh yeah, we forgot. I've been to... seeing a we bunch did. of random shit on R. Kelly right now. Oh, yeah, what's going on with him? Yeah. He, uh, last time I seen, he was on Suicide Watch. I don't know if that still remains. Oh wow! Yeah, no, see, I think they, they, took, they, took, they took him off. They took him off. Suicide, suicide Watch. watch. He got yeah. untrapped off he the closet. They, they started. That he was going to commit suicide or something. I didn't read into the full story. It was just like a headliner. Um, it was a few headlines about him being on Suicide Watch. After, mm-hmm. that, after the, I had verdict. seen them talking about he could possibly be escaping from prison or escape from prison. There was a bunch of rumors. I didn't really see nothing solid on that. Bill Cosby so, ain't escaping. He ain't going to escape. Yeah, it was like R. Kelly escaped from prison. Bill Cosby, oh, okay. ain't, they, he ain't going. To, he got some good. Look, I mean, I don't know, but he ain't going back. I don't think they're gonna send him back to jail. I think yeah. uh, his life is, you know, yeah, yeah. Old man, it let, it, let it go. Yeah, yeah but R. Kelly, go yeah, he gonna be in there for a minute. Thirty years? How <laughs> 30 old is he now? Like maybe fifty something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sheesh. I mean, what is? How old is R. Kelly? He'll it's be not like, like the, we just know. He's probably like forty. Uh-huh. He gotta be in his fifties. Forty-eight. <laughs> If he not, <laughs> that's fair. She went high fifty, late late forties, late forties. And my internet don't want to work here, man. That's because you don't have it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and my internet's not work. working, man. Got to get that five G. <laughs> yeah, bro. Why don't you turn it off? Your why did it connect? Not to, today, bro. It connect. I don't know why it does that. It just automatically connects to random well, yeah. Xfinity. While we wait on Ross's internet to connect. <laughs> To find out how old R. Kelly Don't blame me. Is. He's 55. Damn. Oh, damn. Sheesh. Yeah, he's That's a long time in there, 55. Yeah, yeah that's He'll it. be the same age as the dude in Squid Games, number one. Facts, yeah. bro. Damn. damn. Bill Cosby, that's weird, because Bill Cosby shows up as 84. That was the oh, next wow. one. He gonna come out as Bill Cosby. <laughs> damn. Sheesh. The only problem is you could have made it to my age. Damn, but bro. You kept yeah, thirty. Using the restroom on people. Yeah, thirty years. <laughs> oh that's you stupid. Thirty years. That's <laughs> raps, bro. I mean, are y'all still listening to R. Kelly? Bro, they said his streams no boosted up. <laughs> oh yeah, his they said his streams up. boosted up to like top two hundred right now. So yeah. are y'all still listening to R. Kelly? I'm not gonna if it's, lie. Like, if it's on, people be playing st- R. Kelly. If I hear it around me, I don't really go and yeah. look for it no more. Mm. Mm. I mean, that's same. Like I don't go search. For yeah, it. I don't really. Yeah. If they're playing it, they if playing it's it. playing it, just like I don't it's see music. nothing. Oh, I can't it's stop on. You. I don't see nothing. Yeah, because at the time the boss was a lot like, of a lot of examples. <laughs> see, <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't know. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, we didn't. So know. we listened to it in the aspect of where we were. Like that's how I listen to it. if it does come on like red album. Like me and my dad used to jam the hell out of that. Mm-hmm. So it was like a 
Like if he plays something like "Don't put me up, don't put," like I'd mm-hmm. probably just let it play because I'm like, "Dang, this remind me of my childhood." Right, right, right. How <laughs> how much y'all willing to bet at some of huh? these family functions? For I was not supposed to be listening to half that of, album. Yeah. <laughs> they were what? definitely playing it this weekend. Yeah. Step, what? step, step. Yeah. Side, oh, yo, side. I mean, you know they were playing it this weekend, bro. To, like like at a family function. Whoa. Yeah, every it's time hard that song to, came on when I was a kid, I was stepping, stepping side to side. So it's like a natural. It's one of them things like, in grade. Yeah, yeah. I, have, yeah. I have emotional ties to I believe I can fly. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. Like, it's certain think... songs that like it's mm-hmm. almost like yeah. I can't delete this. I'm sorry, y'all. Right, like, I can't. But I get it. I understand. You know, if you yeah. don't like, you know, you don't want to listen to it, that is understandable. And I don't go searching for it. So yeah, hey, I get it. Then he did that gospel album. Oh damn! That one song, Spirit. Sicko mode. Spirit. (laughs) That's why. Wait, and don't he got a um? He he on that song with Kirk Franklin. Mm. The um. I think I know. What's that one? Uh, I forgot the name. Sicko mode. Yeah. I don't know if it's a gospel album. I think it's Kirk Franklin's song. Oh okay. But yeah, he's on there. I can't remember the name of the song, but I know what you're talking about. They've played it in the Tyler Perry show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Several times. That's wild, I think man. And it has man. the woman. Ver- um, yeah, yeah, I think Tamela Man. Yeah. Yep. And, and there's yeah, the a sex girl. dungeon that man. the entire time. Searching for. Oh. <laughs> That's wild. I, I feel like it's more people, though. Like, it's. But it's not you couldn't just run there by itself. Yeah, oh, no, it's not definitely just. Well, that's him. a whole organization. Oh, no. Nah, there's people involved, certain. People like parents and stuff like that that just willingly let their children go. Like you oh, gotta put blame on them too. You know what I'm saying? Not just not just his messed up mindset because he's always been like that. That's yeah. the thing. He's it, this is not even nothing new. It's just we're in a different time period mm-hmm. now where people will start really digging into investigating certain situations. But he was doing that with a live. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga was a grown man. Grooming, yep. grooming at an early But it's crazy age. because yeah. definitely grooming. When they compared that, they also brought up Jay Z and Beyonce. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody said that too. Mm-hmm. They said she was like seventeen when they first started. Yeah, I think like sixteen. And he was... Yeah, that, I mean, and we've we've talked about this yeah, before on the on the pod where we grew up around people that were like about to graduate, still like graduate high school, still messing with people Thanks. that were in middle school. Like I've seen, it. I was like, That's, hey, man, yo, I had, how middle, I middle school? school. Yeah. I, I thought you were about like to say they college. were coming into middle school, or well, I mean, coming into high school, and they were about to graduate. I had a oh, um, oh. yeah, a, a classmate. What sophomore year? She was dating one of the barbers, and he was like 35, God, 36. Oh, wow. and she was like what sixteen? I remember a girl at school talking. About she was dating a dude in college. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how is that player for him? That's hella weird. <laughs> it's it's weird when around. you get to college and you be like, that don't even make sense. Why are you <laughs> the variety of people lying right about their age and stuff? And that too. That too. That's that's true. That is very sure. true. Because girls be lying in. sometimes, just like dudes. Mm-hmm. So you got to put that into perspective. Like, you Absolutely. Know, you be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm 18. Boom, it's boom, the ones boom. that know it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that bother you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's 15. I'm 35. That's okay. <laughs> they be like, what? What about, a, what about a grown man. woman? Or that's how it be. <laughs> man, whoa, man, it used to be like that back in the day. So <laughs> we gonna back keep in the pushing day. that wall, man. <laughs> I saw you. I be like wondering, like, what's the psychology behind that? Like being like thirty five or manipulation, you know, forty, fifty, mm-hmm. and then dating someone like eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's, it's, it's like, ex- what is the psychology to say, hey, like this Fresh. is this is what I like. It, the thing is, it's experience, and mm-hmm. typically the experience versus that rookie. A lot of times, they can they can manipulate them a little bit better than <clears> you can a woman that kind of understands mm-hmm. yeah. more. So, like, let's say a college student who just graduated, or a girl who just graduated, she from falls college, for games, and she, yeah. she she's had that deal before. So, like, she she may or may not fall for it at that period of time, and then you got the high school girl who's gonna fall down mm-hmm. there everything. She ain't been through nothing. She, well, she don't know nothing. She don't know nothing. Oh, so he she, like, yeah, come on with me. Well, you would be surprised how some of these, you know, young teenagers be knowing stuff. They, some of them do. They know stuff, yeah. but they don't know. Yeah, they, they know, know they that. know like, it, but they don't know it through experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like mm-hmm. they they really kind of, you know, you gullible and you rebellious at that age. Yeah. Exactly. You so it's like, you know. let's say you you have been around in high school, whatever sophomore <laughs> year. You still a uh, you still rebellious as hell to your parents a lot of the times at mm-hmm. that point when you've been around. So at that point you like shoot, let me just work the rebellious side. Yeah. Well, your mama won't know. Blah, 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 or work like work towards their parents and use it like that. Boom, like it works. It works so many different ways when it comes yeah. to that young like that young age. You, a lot of times you're not even mature enough to even understand what's happening yeah. to you. Mm-hmm. It's that foresight, that wisdom that they lack. Yeah, mm-hmm. to I agree. Say like, oh, the overall consequence is gonna be this. 
Yeah, exactly. Don't have the That's so, so how do we help the women? You know, we were trying to help the fellas last week. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> how do we help the women? Uh, we can't use simps for women. It has to be another word. But um, we're trying to find a way to help some women either deal with certain people in relationships, mm-hmm. life lessons, goals. Um, because last week with the dudes, we was trying to stop guys from being such simps to where <laughs> when you getting rejected or if somebody breaking up with you, you don't go back to her house and you know try to blow her up. So are you yeah. saying like the the woman that is constantly can't, being abused in a relationship yeah, in a way, can't get like over as in like verbally or like he's cheating that's, on that's her? That's the side I'm trying to see. Which one are we okay. gonna do? Mm-hmm. Which one are we gonna do? Because we can hit both gotcha. lightly gotcha. and quickly. Because there are women that keep dealing with certain people and mm-hmm. they just go back. Yeah. Yeah. The ones that blame people. Which one, man? Come on. Uh, we can. Well, we can give it up to her, I guess. She oh, can yeah. choose. What you think? So we can go with the like abusing part. Okay. So the women that keep dealing with abusive. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm, okay. Who want to start that one? I want to start that verbal. one. Both. Yeah. Uh, that both <laughs> both of them are kind of with like the verbal. Yeah, verbal. Because verbal? I feel like verbal or the mental. I feel like mm-hmm. mental because mm-hmm. mental yeah. is more extreme. Mm-hmm. And it usually yeah. comes from verbal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. so. Uh, <laughs> this, 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 is, this is a tough one. Like, you gotta get in that bag, yeah. bag. Whoa, like, man! I can, I can start. It's with. heavy right now. I'll take the first Cause, punch because it's low key like you want to. it's low key like um being brainwashed in a sense mm-hmm. because that's especially true. when you don't know anything else and like you feel like that's the best thing you've ever had mm-hmm. and so like you want him to be this great thing and so you keep that image in your head like he's gonna be this and yeah. he, you know every time he you know gets upset and he verbally abuse you, mentally abuse you, you 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 heard about it at the time, but then he reels you back in with some sweet talk bullshit. Yeah. And you like, he could still be that guy. And it's like yeah. they, they stay in that mental and that's what keeps them in that cycle of coming back to this dude who keeps doing them dirty mentally. Like that's how I see it a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of times it comes like it it takes an outside source almost to get them out of that cycle. Like I've yeah. seen it happen to where, you know, a, a, a friend of hers wouldn't wasn't helping her and then let's say another dude came around that was actually a good dude and he was treating her good and she was noticing this and she was yeah. like wait is this how a guy is supposed to treat women <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. I've brought that like, up before huh? I've brought that up before like to certain women that that haven't had to deal with that mm. that can sit back on the outside and just cast judgment to women that are in them situations yeah, exactly because they don't know that okay just because you were lucky enough to find somebody or blessed enough to find somebody that's going to treat you right what would have happened if you would have only met like ancient people? Yeah. yeah. And you probably start to develop this mindset like, oh, maybe this is the only thing I can attract. Mm-hmm. And women, you are better than your situation if it's a bad one. Of course, you are definitely better than your Absolutely. situation. Yeah. Um, there's always a way to, you know, get yourself out of it, but nobody else can do it. But yeah. 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 Right. Mm-hmm. Right. That's a, that's a, um, uh, I guess you could say a real sentiment because mm-hmm. you see it. And sometimes it creates, the cycle of someone say they are finally able to get out of the situation, Mm -hmm. but it's traumatic for them physically, emotionally, mentally It's traumatic for them. And then another scenario, a good guy comes along. Now she's not going to be as trusting. She may have her guard up so much where that good guy or that person that's really trying to get to know her genuinely and want to get to really vibe with her. They ends up getting pushed away and you, you, you see it a lot or then the cycle comes into social media where now they they get into that niggas ain't niggas shit, ain't shit. Oh. and once someone's in that vibe it's hard to kind of get them out of it and men do it too it's not just absolutely yeah. men be on that Definitely. i see a lot more than you know you would expect and you could tell how crazy right hurt <laughs> but, and, and it's usually a hurt message yeah every it's, time. it's uh, man these these all, all they do is cheat yeah. all these bitches ain't shit man fuck yeah. these hoes man get your money blah 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 worry about your bread the, I'm yeah. like, you only said that cause you hurt <laughs> yeah, I understand. It's, yeah. The, it's the people that y'all dealing with you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying you gotta stop overcasting or over you know a category categorizing over categorizing everybody into mm-hmm. a bubble that you in you know what yep. I'm saying like mm-hmm. it's a lot of people that it's and then what uh, annoys me sometimes about how some times women choose dudes is they do it the same way they got the last one yeah like they'll keep like the same thing going like if you keep doing meeting somebody in the streets yeah. yep it's like the video i watched it was really like, it was it was it was saying he was saying stop going to clubs and uh 
trying to find. I say that all the time. Trying mm-hmm. to find these good dudes, um, go to places where you know good dudes are or good people like would typically be other yeah. than you know the club where your chances yeah. are better I'll yeah say where yeah, your chances, chances are better are basically because you know in the club they're just looking to smash anyways nine times out of ten in there mm-hmm. so he was saying go to you know your grocery store go your, he was just saying right. like random like regular places yeah and he'd be like dang i would have never thought about that yeah. but it like it's it's something that should be obvious yeah yeah at the same time it's like that's where a good guy would i mean be. go to the places where you know the, the darkness ain't Basically, what he was saying. Speaking of club, he got me out. Well, family got me out. Man, I see it. Family, yeah. I text text, uh, Ross. I say, did you get him outside? Yeah, no. You hit me up? I I hit him up, letting him know that uh, some family was in town. Okay. Um, Shout out to them. Yeah, Uh, yeah, yeah. Nisha people was in town. And, you know, they wanted to go out. And, you know, I mustered it up. And my guy got to go out. Hit up Ross, went outside. And it felt weird at first. (laughs) A wing man. It definitely felt (laughs) weird, you know, being in that element again. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I just, you know, I, even me, I'm looking at we it adapt. like, I can't. But then I also look at it like, man, how can you do this every, every other weekend. day? Just me personally. That's me. You listen to the same song. Yep. You know, you just trying not. And then we had to leave. Well, when we were leaving, uh, as usual, kind of reminded me of just the last time I went out. Yep. Two dudes start getting into it. Yep. And apparently it was over a uh, chick. Of course. Of and course, per usual. All I hear is, don't do that, don't do that. And then dude walks to his car, open the door, and she's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, don't do that. And I mean, they're literally like two cars from me. Wow. And so I'm like, all right. Yep. It's time to go. Yeah. And we then the dude start crawling up. Yeah, we just time to go. I was like, yep, that's, that's, time to get out of here. You don't look. You don't watch. The girl over there told me, this my nigga, this my nigga. Don't, don't oh, do that. Lord. I'm like, mm-hmm. clearly both... Something wrong, cause both of them thinking they you for them. And that's busted. that shit. I'm so done with that energy. Busted. Right. So that's why I feel like I feel like sometimes I like to go to brunch. Yeah, the um, daytime events. The daytime event, nice restaurant. Yeah, like, absolutely. Fun fun stuff to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, adventurous stuff what or a lot of time of people fi- pulling out their gun out yeah, yeah. The trunk Le- it's it. less likely that yeah. you're gonna be fighting over somebody's chick mm-hmm. when you're already there with your chick and everybody got their chicks mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. um, the park be lit like, uh, yeah. like yeah. family oriented especially downtown like if you mm-hmm. go to downtown mm-hmm. Discovery Green yeah um, they always have some type of activity there mm-hmm. somebody museum using, district museum district mm-hmm. it's a lot nice of places you can go to yeah but it just reminded me. That's all it was. Yeah. And I wanted to bring that up because in case, I mean, I can, you can be a good person in the club, but yeah, absolutely. you literally are there scoping. I mean, every time yeah. a chick walking by, niggas, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? It's just, it's just the same. Hey, yo, 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 you want a shot? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want a shot? It's expensive in there. I believe intentionally you didn't go there to actually like, pro- well, some people, but you go there to have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, for sure. Sometimes a good time is just getting some, uh, Mm-hmm. to smash it in the yeah. night or, yep. or it should be like just getting a couple of drinks enjoying dancing that's absolutely. Rare. absolutely for me for me I would go absolutely. there just to dance like half the time for me I was just there to dance anyway so yeah. like I, I didn't give people a people going there for the wrong reason if I was getting yeah. a number I got a number at I that went point. Yeah, I, go. I got out of there because I, I was like oh music let's go yeah. like, I'm here to you know groove but yeah. I definitely you know I was with the, the people that was straight going for the numbers mm-hmm. and yes. trying to smash and that's it Yeah, which is understandable because so it's about my crowd because <laughs> I didn't understand it. Like I wasn't no dancer, so that's where we, mm-hmm. you know. But I'm like, what am I doing here? That's like the strip club. Like it's pointless to me. Absolutely. I don't care how many dislikes y'all give me. It's just pointless. <laughs> <laughs> I think for go some there to throw men, free money. It, like, you know, brings them a sense of comfort. Like because some some men some don't guy, have like that. Some men are lonely. Some men are you true. know suppressed. You can go things. get it to a homeless person. <laughs> now you know that they ate tonight. That nigga but, don't give a fuck about you know, that. I'm trying to see some ass titties, nigga. I don't give a damn about that homeless nigga. That type of desire Yo. and pleasure is strictly selfish. So it's not mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, I'm going because I want to just help out this stripper, pay her bills. It's mm-hmm. like I'm going to get a Look service. To get a feeling, I'm paying for this. Absolutely. So. Yeah, until VR start doing something where oh, you feel something. Oh, your virtual reality. Oh, yeah. You just there. gotta have like the uh, <clears throat> one. Of the, go to one of them sex stores. Add you one of them little dolls, and then put your VR <laughs> on, and then entertain yourself <laughs> like that or something. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, bro, they're working. They got so much. Shit they're working these on days, a. Bro. They're working on a suit that you put on. Mm-hmm. You put <laughs> Why are you coming and laughing? I'm trying to tell you, you are gonna put a suit on. <laughs> And it's, gonna, it's gonna squeeze on your body parts oh, that you yeah. wanted to, <laughs> and you're gonna play a video. Oh, that is a that sounds dangerous. <laughs> if 
I've seen home. an image in my head. You can put the level. You can turn the level down. <laughs> Oh, turn the intensity. intensity. You know what? I'm feeling wild tonight. I, I, let's turn the intensity <laughs> all the way up. Y'all it's go, over 9,000. There you go, Sheba. Y'all heard about that robot that's pregnant? Like, well, I think you was talking. Room. I think you was mm. talking what, what was about he? that. No. Nah. So would you what? impregnate a robot? If you had... It's would pregnant you? with who? It's, it has an artificial room. And, that's the um, proceeding. They, they don't want to stop until they... It, it was like then, wasn't we talking about Lambda? And yeah, we was talking about def- Lambda def- now. It was. Wait. Well, there's this artificial, artificial intelligence that was basically uh, from was, Google. Yeah, they created. It's like a bot from Google that they mm-hmm. created, like an online bot, like you know where they ask you them questions if you go to a website, are you a bot or not? So they created one like that oh, okay. that's able to answer back, and it was answering as <laughs> if. It was a human, like it had thoughts, feelings, scary. and emotions. Went, uh, so when you're talking about they build a robot that can artificially create, uh, you know, a child, uh, what are we what are we doing? Would there be a uh, robot child support? <laughs> Boy. Uh, uh, Wick. Byron, you gonna robot pay Wick. for this? <laughs> Hell, no, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> it's gonna be called Sean AI a Wick. Y'all know what I really Wick. thought of Futurama. You oh yeah, yeah. 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 that's ben what I immediately thought of. Like that'd be some crazy shit, bro. Oh my gosh, we not bro. learning. We are not. Dog. <clears throat> I mean, it's a robot, so you can just take the money out your account. <laughs> it don't matter. Well, but you, you a robot too, robot, so bro. you can block that. Well, no, if you are a human, because you know there's gonna be some humans trying to fuck some Come robots. On, bro. Yeah, you definitely. Look, definitely. Oh, definitely. They be out here. Um, doing that to animals. Yeah, um, bro. They like gonna, the, they gonna do it to asked, a bot. You asked, would 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 you smash a robot? No. Why? <laughs> what, what, what if you don't know? Like, what's that? Oh, that's well, that's so different. Bro. The skin, oh, the mechanical the, legs in the air. Like. So, do you go to jail if that's you weird. beat that robot up? If you find out it's well, not beat it, beat it, it up, up robots, lo- robots. Yeah. Wait a minute, beat it up. Robot if, like, if you find yeah. out you that beat that robot up. The robot, you <laughs> you smashing a robot, but you didn't know. How you gonna find out? If you find out, you see a serial caught bar on a shit or whatever. That's a tattoo. <laughs> it's a tattoo. You could. It's a QR code. You're like, scan so, that wait, shit. something ain't right. Hold on, <laughs> Veronica nine thousand. <000. laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> Your bones feel a little harder than normal. This nigga see her charging port behind the bed. It ain't for her iPhone, okay, nigga. Bro, <laughs> Shoulder blades, extra sharp. Going, who you think gonna win that fight, bro? Take Dang, it easy, that bro. Robot that robot got beat your ass, she bro. Went, ah, why did you hit me? <laughs> <laughs> Uploading on, Bruce man. Lee fighting. <laughs> Get a steel pipe, do some damage. <laughs> and then pipe. if they have the conscience enough the to problem, answer first? questions, I'm pretty sure like. It will call 911 on you. <laughs> Didn't you just say they, they was getting emotions too? Oh, yeah. so no. Let's say she like, oh, bitch, I'm mad. Like, <laughs> I don't know where. You don't want a mad robot at you, bro. This is true. That's so wait, you just You just take the L. I just smash some robot pussy. Uh, imagine That's actually oh destroying goodness. the robot and getting arrested because of robot <laughs> laws. Like robot laws. Just like, yep, you've committed law 1.877. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> we just came up with this 10 minutes ago. You're gonna be the crash yeah. dummy for oh, this. Oh, that's the iRobot from uh, uh, Will Smith vibe right there. <laughs> Facts. That's straight up that. Oh, I don't hell. want it. So, I don't want it. Long oh, story short, it. women, be careful where you are, uh, find dudes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't that's know how we got all the way to Robot Cat, but um, I, I don't know how we got over there, bro. Yeah. Not what she was talking about. Oh, the the womb. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Sheesh. No, <laughs> um, definitely your thoughts on the whole abortion. Far as laws, because I know we in Ooh, yeah, it's very minute. touchy for me. Um, in a sense that it uh-huh. it's affecting so many people, and so many have um, so many people have so many perspectives. Mm-hmm. And honestly, it's like I'm I'm in a space where I'm I'm not opposed to it, and then I'm not like against it against either. It. It's mm-hmm. like I'm. It's just making I'm I'm just it's just making me more aware of like how. A couple of years from now, how our society is gonna be? Yeah, you know, I, I, um, I feel like it has an upside. Far as like now, I feel like people are gonna be more conscious about choosing partners and being more protective when it comes to like having safe sex and stuff like Hopefully that. Hopefully, they do. Hopefully, Hopefully. yeah. Um, people savages now. Yeah, yeah, and and that's and that's why I'm like, is 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 I don't know. It's gonna be a lot of hard to learn the hard ways. Yeah. Type situation. Mm-hmm. Like I said last week, 
They're going to have them black market abortion clinics. Yup. Yeah, the, under, the underground abortion <coughs> clinics. And yep. people going to go to those dangerous ones. It's going to be dangerous as hell. Some yeah. people going to die from it. It's going to be. Yeah. yeah. Which is why I will say to women, definitely be careful who you're choosing as a partner. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I know that's one of them things that people always say. But if you know the dude ain't shit, he going to still be ain't shit when y'all, if he, mm-hmm. if you conceive or something like that. So just be very mm-hmm. careful. Um, Cause that that's one thing that can you know help you avoid any of that you know long term trauma. Yeah. yeah. Especially having to be connected because now you connected with this person forever. Yep. Definitely. You know, not, it's not just the eighteen years. I know people. Are, oh man, eighteen years. I'm done. Nah. You got graduation. You got you know college. Uh, if your child go to college, you got weddings. You got mm-hmm. other kid grandchildren. Mm-hmm. You're forever there. Yeah. You're gonna forever have those ties. That's if you're trying to be a good parent. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Put that out there. That's, your well, that's, that's the thing because we know the women have to bro but what do y'all think about Dave Chappelle because we did we did see this clip again um, when he said that if a woman has the right to um, have the baby a man should have the right to not take care of it mm, what do y'all wow. think because we seen you remember on the Netflix special the little controversial when he was talking about Juicy Smoothie uh, smooth oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah 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 I forgot and he was like if a, if a woman has the right I remember to that. have the baby against the guy's will if he don't want to have it then do you think the guy should have the right to not take care of it i do i still feel like you still um played a part in it you know like everybody's different everybody's body is different you know Mm -hmm. and it's like y'all both like we know like results of having sex like we know different outcomes that can Mm -hmm. possibly happen so like if y'all making like real matured up a lot how like some men feel some type of way when a woman decides to keep the baby mm-hmm. and it's just like well you you played a part in it like True. you played a part and now you're not <clears throat> liking your consequence of what you created like so no, that's a good point. um yeah i can on a selfish level i can see like that perspective too because some people out here you know some more selfish than others and that would fit that perspective and mode of life or lifestyle as far as like oh well i'm not gonna take care of it because i mm-hmm. told you i didn't want it but on a i feel like on a real mature spiritual level any um just a mature like you played a part you're just as responsible as this woman carrying it but i think that's the question though because so but what about the women that can choose to just not have it so and the guy wants it and the guy wants it's, it because like the woman controls regardless of what we say the woman is in control 100 percent. yeah if she wants it or not yeah. yeah so i think the point is if she can say hey, i want it and hey, i don't want it can the, the guy choose to say okay well you since he played it? half yeah the part, men you know? have been choosing since i mean they are but. the times like i mean well child support don't really because i mean if the dude don't want to take care of it then i mean he shouldn't then they wouldn't want to be charged for child support. Yeah. But is is that's that's the thing. It's like that's a tough one. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it tough is. because it's, it's, it's like is. that's a tough one. My thing is like it's just like a consequence. Like you go out here, commit a crime, and you get caught, you're going to jail. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you go out here, have sex. The woman decide to keep the baby. You're gonna either that's cold. step up as a man. It is, yeah. Because I mean, we have no no right, right. No, I feel like you do. But also. Because you decided as a human being, as a God conscious human being, to make a choice. That's true. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now you have to step up in your own God conscious being and say, hey, you got it's about maturity. Okay. You know what I'm saying? To well, that point. Because you had the same like you nutted in her. Like Okay. So say you You could have pulled out. Say the guy and wants a child, but like, the girl doesn't like want said, the child. Like you were saying, that damn, what's the, joke, but it's okay. <laughs> what's the <laughs> what's the flip to that? Because it's still true, and the ball's still in their court. Because there are some guys that want I, children. I've seen that. Happen. My yeah. question is, why are y'all so frustrated? If you want, want the child, child? You yeah, because yes. yeah. you want. Why your are you child? so frustrated? Because it's both y'all child now, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he may have nutted in you, but you also wanted him to nut in you. <laughs> not technically in a way who who knows she did she wasn't okay so with it. both of y'all are equally as guilty Listen, equal as responsible so if, if they are right. then she shouldn't have the right to stop him from having his child and should he have the right for her 
to say that's stop the difficult it. part about yeah, it. That's, that's, the difficult part. That's, <laughs> that's where it's so hard. So it it doesn't. Y'all want it to fit a mold that is not gonna have a like a a favorable outcome because the woman controls. It's like it you're no stubborn. Like you're being stubborn as a man in your willpower <laughs> to step up and be a father. No, but no, 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 but no, no. We're saying the, the other side. No, yeah, flip. we're flipping we're it. So let's say let's say the woman doesn't want to have it. Yeah, and the guy wants, wants to, it, to, yeah, have it. to have it. Yeah. yeah. So what happens? What do you think about that situation? And, and I feel like as women too, it's like it's messed up that you know you're deciding to go kill a creation that y'all both had equally responsibility. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now, um, yeah, I feel the same way on both. Because it'll still be her response, like her choice. Yeah. Because yeah. even if the guy wants I, it, that's what makes it tough on the guys. Is what he's saying. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah. Because we don't have a say if we yeah. wanted it or, or if we don't want it. Regardless, yeah. we don't have a say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like me personally, I'm going to, of course, take care of my kids. Of course. Yeah. We'll just be a devil's advocate. Yeah. We're yeah. we just playing on the <laughs> other side. So, like, if I wanted it and she didn't want it, I'd be like, damn, like, I can't have my kids. Yeah. It's like you, mm-hmm. you get that and stop She can button. just be like, yep, nope, sorry. Yeah. That's, that's just as equally as the same. I, that's unfair, though. <laughs> that is. Because if. If I want my child, but you're saying, no, you don't want it, this is my body, my right, then I'm going to feel like, well, damn, you know, I want my child. You only have the right to keep it and oh. take get rid of it. Now, if I don't want to be there for my child, because let's say, hey, we can't financially take care of a child. You already mm-hmm. knew that. I'm trying to finish school, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Having a child right now is going to kill all that. Yeah. And you like, no, I want to have my child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. You have the choice regardless, and no matter what I say, mm-hmm. it's like it doesn't matter. Yeah, and I, point. yeah, and it's women, and it's, it's all boils down to a person being selfish about a certain a certain level of, like I said, responsibility. Like I feel like we just gotta get hit with whatever at that point, because it's like it's literally it just is. you have to. It's it's, the it's way who it's you choose. Up, yes. Yeah, the way that's why you, that's yes. why you have to make sure who you're having intercourse the, with and being yeah. you know safe and responsible because for sure if you do not see yourself having a child with this person mm, and that's a don't. big one don't, then that's yeah. that's important that's a big one but I can't say the flip side of it is that's why there's a lot of single mothers because this is true you true. know he told you I didn't want the baby <laughs> so this is true I but mean, child support works in their favor because okay but a lot of men don't like trip about parents child support they rather. Get you that true. bread. That's you true. be quiet. Yeah, this is true. And, this is unfortunately and true. They'll wait their eighteen years and, and then, then they do. Yeah, that's crazy. It's not a life commitment versus a woman. Yeah, like he only committed eighteen years, and then but she's committing life. Life, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you, it all boils down to like you're gonna get what you, <laughs> you're gonna get your choices. Like the I choices mean, you make, you will. That's why it's tough on both the, parties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is one that's dedicated to the women because we already got on the men. So. Yeah. Choose wisely who you're dealing with. Yes, definitely. I was just yeah. about to Stop say, well, ignoring those red flags. Sometimes the mother doesn't want to be with the kid, and they keep it, and then they get out of, of the kid's life. It's kind of the, the reverse role. Sometimes I've mm-hmm. seen that happen before. Yeah. And so. sometimes women have the child to trap the man. Yes, yep. this is true. Thinking that's sometimes the man tries to trap the woman. <clears> and this is also true. true. Yeah, so this is true. I feel like we it's all have to start taking account, which shoes. don't make sense to me because women are still in control of their body. Yep. Is men not in control of your? Are you not in control? Well, of your nah. Like, technically, if, if can you get a, a uh, vasectomy? Now. Like, well, yeah. like I guess we're speaking it? in retrospect. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm saying like if a dude trying to trap a woman is way harder than no, absolutely a girl well, trying to trap the, a dude. You know, yeah, the, but the, the well, turn, yeah, well. in retrospect, because I'm still not with this whole tell a woman what to do with her body thing. But yeah, because before a woman could just be like, "All right, cool, well, yeah, uh, I plan want B, this baby." Anyways, even though you're trying to trap me, I'm just gonna not have. You this. take a plan yeah. B. I'm gonna and take then, my plan B right now. Yeah, you know? yeah. Or unless they go to other states that are still, you uh, know, uh, yeah, in yeah favor which of, is like, still California possible, stuff like that. So they can go to other states. So if a woman don't want it, they don't have to have it. Have mm-hmm. it. But yeah. if a dude, you just like, hey, don't I have no choice. Have, yeah, mm-hmm. it's whatever she wants. Well, and that's that, what it boils down to. Yeah, and that's what it is. Situation, whatever she wants. Once again, it all <laughs> goes back to you. You, and that's why we was talking about last time for the fellas to not just rush into it, just thinking about sex, because that comes with sometimes these situations. You got to really with the territory. Take your time with somebody. Really try to figure them out what they what they trying to do with their life. And the same thing with women. Like try to figure out. What this guy is interested in, what he's trying to gain. Do he want a family? You know, yeah. you have these just 
intimate conversations, you know, and let that build build upon <clears throat> that and go from there instead of just, you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's see what happens because a lot of times when you see what happens, you end up with the situation we just been talking about. That's usually how it happens. All it yep. takes a bottle of Casamigos and hookah. Not it's wraps. a bottle of Casamigos. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really. bro. <laughs> I was expecting to him to say Henny. <laughs> About uh, Henny. Henny. I can't okay. hell. Nah, that tequila get them sideways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you drink Henny, I'm walking over. I can't do it. You are you nah, that's, different. That's you were savage. Y'all going to war exactly. up in there? Yeah. You got New Tim's Yorkers. on while you drinking that yeah. one. Yeah. That one is come here, man. <laughs> she got a skirt with Tim's on. Right. Hey yo, bring that. Bring <laughs> come that over here, nigga. Over here. Beating her chest. Come over here, little nigga. Bring that glizzy over here. You start grabbing your. Bring that glizzy over here. Bring that glizzy over here. It's glizzy time. Damn, baby, I'm watching. The game. <laughs> I don't give a damn. I don't I got a game. Damn. NFC is my red flag. <laughs> game seven about to go down right now. <laughs> Speaking of red flags, what are some red flags that you feel like women ignore mm. to still face certain dudes? Mm, that's a good one. When that's dealing with one. certain dudes, what are what are some red flags that women ignore that end up putting them in a situation with a certain dude? Um, I feel like women ignore the reality of people. Mm-hmm. And um, ignore, um, or hmm, I would say like people just don't be aware of what's happening at the time. So it depends on the fact. Well, that I'll start with one so that way yeah. you can. So I'll say when when women are dating some dudes or trying to talk to some dudes, yeah. they always seem to gravitate towards the the flashy player dude. Uh huh. So that being a red flag women still get drawn like, to the guy who's the player. Like, mm-hmm. the one that seemed like he's popular, the one that smashed all the, mm-hmm. the chicks. I feel like women gravitate towards dudes like that, mm-hmm. which is a red flag because once you try to, if you do land him and get with him, you're surprised that he cheats on you. Yeah. <gasps> Bruh. Donnie? My thing, sometimes people just don't know that person. Like, if, if, it's, a, if it's somebody you never heard of, if somebody you just meet yeah. on Facebook, you know, face value and y'all just chopping it up. That That's don't necessarily different. mean that she's consciously aware that this is a player. But Especially what about the, the girl that knows? That like, I'm manipulate. I'm about to manipulate her. Yeah, but what about the girl that knows like this dude? The like, girl that knows, I feel like um, it's just a lack of um, a lack of accountability and a lack of self-love. It could be a lot of factors True. of why people choose the certain people that they choose. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times those type of people try, is trying to fill a void. So they might mm. be at- attached to the person because of the way they make them feel. Mm. So I feel like it's just like an attachment thing or just like a, a void thing. It's, it could be so many different levels. It's so complex. And, and I'm trying to bring that up because a lot of women do ignore red flags yeah Absolutely. and then when they get with certain dudes they'll be like what you no, mean yeah. to tell me i didn't think you would do it to me you know yeah. so i put that out there so that way you know maybe this will help yeah. some women no way and i'm guilty of that like um i'm guilty of that um but i wouldn't say i went in anything consciously knowing that this is how this person mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. it took me to like deal with this person for a minute to then learn and then to see like oh dang like Shit ain't now changing. it's like who are you right. like you're you're you, this is something different and then you go through that hurt of being played like mm-hmm. you know is and is mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of hard to admit sometimes to hear it out loud like oh i got played like for real for real i got yeah. played. and you be hurt because you like bro i thought this whole like everything yep. you go through a cognitive distance and mm-hmm. thinking that everything that you felt that you felt, you thought um, this person, you know, did even if they did it, you know, to get something out of it, like you thought that was like genuine transactions, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you feel betrayed, that you know, sucks. and then you question yourself. You, it's like you go through a whole level of just hurt and pain, mm-hmm. and you know, certain people think, oh, you supposed to just get over it, or you know, it's like it's so simple to just move on, and that's not because I feel like. It's that's a whole nother death. Like it's like you go through these stages, kind of like uh, the feeling of a a death of a Losing loved one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, love is just because it's love. It's painful. Yeah, love is very. Yeah, it's a very very strong. still yeah. still don't go to people's <coughs> houses with gasoline yeah, and nah. putting it on their yeah, door. Yeah, not do that. Too far. I know you know some red flags that people ignore. But to me, I, I feel like promoters. <laughs> But to me, Sheesh. I feel like the woman who knows. Is it? Um, that could be a red flag for sure. 
it definitely is probably most likely like My to fill a to void. You. You know, like I, I feel like the woman who consciously knowing, like I'm gonna go talk to this dude, knowing that he don't treat women right, mm-hmm. knowing that he be his women, is they probably used to that. To me, mm-hmm. I, that that felt like a lot of women, especially when it came to like the the hood, the the bad guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. what is that stigma? Like, what what is a bad guy? See, something I've heard um, when a woman's explained this to me, she was like, it's more so the feeling of protection. Oh, like they feel no. like they're they're like they feel like that person that's will, that's what i'm trying to figure out like like i've heard that before like from a woman she was like well i feel like he gonna you know protect me he gonna up it if if something go down if it's that, up, if it's up. like i hear that uh, but, but that's a lot of dudes though but that's it, still exactly like, it's a lot of dudes but they don't look at it that way they want right. the one that's showing it like it's yeah. almost like i'm not gonna say they but you know yeah. some women are like that to where they yeah, they see it they like uh, yeah, uh, yeah i'm not about to put everybody in a bubble or whatever but like if they see that sometimes that's that 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 uh that's like a turn on to some yeah. women. Some women like that. They like, yeah, choke me. You know, how old girl was saying, I want him to slap me, and choke yeah. me and stuff. Pull your gun whatever. out. I prefer uh, a guy that pushed me up against the wall and choke me and talk to me. Listen to yourself, ladies. I'm like, do you hear that? Like, do you some hear what ladies. You, said? you some. want to be abused verbally and physically. Are you about to say something? Yeah, I mean, I feel like people get introduced to certain acts or, you know, certain sexual acts and differently, right? So, Oh, I'm not even just saying sexual. I'm just saying... (laughs) Because I'm, I'm you talking rose. about choke me. Oh, I'm no, like, no, 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 no. that's I'm what not, I'm thinking. I'm not just I'm saying. Sorry, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me, let me. Because hey, I'm like, hold on. Choking I, is sexy. She jumped. Okay, I, I did jump. <laughs> Are we going there? I ain't no, choking. Because abuse relax. come in different forms. And I know, we're not sexual. talking sex. sex. I know some dudes <laughs> that like to I'm be okay choked. with, you know, I know. <laughs> why are you looking at me? Mike. Hold up. Nah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not talking sex because I, you know, it can get a little, you know, aggressive wow. in the bedroom. That's okay. That's that's sexual but you preference. About you can't talk like, to somebody somebody like a woman choke. that likes to. We talking about like, like the bad, like a dominatrix. Guy. Like, no, still on sex. no, 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 <laughs> still oh, no sex. sexual way at all. I'm saying like <laughs> oh, she likes man. to talking about personality. She likes to piss the dude off on mm-hmm. purpose so he yeah. will choke. I her, thought you were about to say oh, slam wow. her up against the wall and talk to her real like. Real disrespectful, basically. Yeah, yeah. that's just trying. Some girls like that stuff, but yeah. I mean, that's because we're trying like to define show. what is a bad guy. The bad guy that the girls seem to want is mm-hmm. it the one that's the protector, or is it that you have to show like you in the streets almost? Yeah. Or like, what if it's not him and it's her? Like she probably got like a saver. You know, like I'm gonna save this person. You know how mm. I forgot what it's called, that's but it's like, do that too. Yeah. yeah. My bad. Can't say these hoes. I said stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's dudes and women that do that. Like yeah. they're like, I like I like the way he looks and I think he has potential. So they yeah. see that other version, like I was saying earlier, they see that other version of them that they could <laughs> possibly make them into. And they also like the side. And then now you're not attracted to them no more because they're not what you wanted to say. No Bro, more. it sounds like uh power. Prime example, Tasha stopped yeah. being like attracted to a ghost because he's like, I want to get out the streets. Let me get out the streets and become a businessman. But man. her, but the yeah. excuse the women were bringing up was, well, he brought her into it. He did. <laughs> See, I, I didn't. I watched a couple of episodes and it was just too much for me. Like, That's understandable. And I was like, yeah, I, don't know. I get well, it. You went straight to Dominatrix. How you don't want to watch Power? <laughs> I mean, Dominatrix been around. She Everybody know different. about Dominatrix. That's, that's, I was thinking of like those people who like do weird stuff. In, oh yeah. yeah, the Red Ball. Yeah. <laughs> What? Red ball. Gag ball. Oh, the gag ball. Oh, he's talking about like the thing. She said, excuse me. Hold on, what is that? I don't judge people on your sexual preferences. Whatever y'all like. I'm not speaking on you specifically. I'm just saying like. Why me in that category? We keep pulling up sexual shit. I'm just saying. Because I know what a gag ball is? And I don't want people to, you know, judge anybody on anything they like to do. I don't care you like, man. Whatever you like. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. He almost hit me. A gag ball. <laughs> no, I thought you knew what that was. Two ninety nine at Walmart. Two ninety nine at Walmart. Man, the pet section. Oh no. <laughs> what, what I was going to say is, <laughs> some. Oh my god, bro. Some women like. Some of them also like that adrenaline, like the adrenaline mm. of being around a hood, nigga. You know what yeah. I mean? They like, oh, he might get in a shootout tonight, type yeah, shit. I don't like, know about that. Some, some women like that, so it's, <laughs> yeah, it's some hood yeah. That's women. just delusion. And that's it's some ratchets, <laughs> man. They like that shit. People, some of them do. People, people don't like to live in peace, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, okay. and that's Straight. because they grew up in chaos. chaos. Yeah. So like, they that's only know one. chaos. So they like shit. Let me keep you know doing what I know. That's why they, like people attract to certain things like that. That's yeah. why people go in that cycle of like. 
it, like violence and non self love to yourself. Like, cause you're not self love at this point. If you keep going to this dude who's cheating on you over and over again, you call your girlfriend saying he's cheating on me, da da da. Then you go back to him, and then you keep doing the same stupid ass cycle. It's because you're used to that. That's what you were around. Your mama was probably single, raising four kids, and mm-hmm. then she's dealing with the same shit at the same time in the house, yelling on the phone. Like it's just a and cycle. That's why bro. Baby Boy was such a strong movie in the black yeah. community, man. It was toxic. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, women get groomed to take men back after they cheat too. This is this is very, very true. true. Like, <laughs> it's this like is on film. And if you think about in it, the household, a lot of the older people they're like, stick with that man. You yeah. know, uh-huh. like a lot of like I heard that before. Yeah. He beat you. He loved you. I've heard somebody yeah. in my family say to a younger, mm-hmm. uh, like my mom, not, not my mom, uh, one of my mom's friends. They was like, she should stick to my, stick by that man. And I'm like, he been beating on the girl. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's. This has been a, a thing, especially in the black community. If, if yeah. growing up, like you see it all the time, you saw it on television. So, hell, some of our favorite musical artists, they was doing some crazy <clears throat> stuff to their women. But guess Ike. what? Entertainment. Yeah. Guess what? They stayed together. They yeah. kept. She kept coming back because that different was different time. That was it was the different time. time. Like the man go out, provide, do what he got to do. He may end up laying up with somebody, but when he come home. You take care of home, and that's just what it was. And the woman just stay at home, take care of kids. And that's it. But another <laughs> thing good. I think about though, back <clears throat> then women didn't have that many rights, so I didn't. understand why the empowerment of women is so strong right yeah. now because yeah. they they're actually getting the opportunity to do a lot of stuff they yeah. couldn't do. Mm-hmm. Like we was able to do stuff, stuff before them, stuff. and we like, we all black, so we was all you know dealing with shit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But women couldn't even deal with shit when we were eventually able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. still couldn't true. do stuff. This so it's true. like I understand it in a way like playing like devil's advocate playing mm-hmm. on their side like I get it because there's some there was a period where they couldn't even do half the shit we was doing. So basically men are doomed now because they <laughs> We're dealing with the, the low key the war path women. <laughs> we're doomed. Our generation Why of men y'all have to be cuz our generation of men are facing the wrath of <laughs> no rights. I mean, it might calm down in yeah. the next twenty years. This this is probably how white people feel right now too about black people, though. You think so? Like, like just think about it in a in a way. But I'm not gonna say it's not the that, only reason that. why. I'll say, I, I kind of get what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? But the like, only reason way. why I can never agree with them on that is because you actually use humans as tools. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So it's like oh, I'm not gonna say I no 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 no. no but I get the shit. mindset what yeah. you're saying because like they're feeling like hey we not the majority we're losing our rank. Yeah, but bro, we're not going to take, take it, it right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But bro, y'all literally used humans as tools. Mm-hmm. You, you, yeah. you objects. Objects. objects, objects like less than dogs. animals. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like y'all really, y'all sold us and bought us like t-shirts. Facts, facts. Oh, that's the two X. Uh, this one right here is pretty strong. That's literally what like, it was. So. What? And you can breed them like we were at. We were pets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know how dogs be talking about breeding dogs to make a certain mm-hmm. mix and look. That's how they treated us. So it's like that's the only thing I'll never get with with you know white people that be feeling like oh our country's being yeah, taken nah, from us. No, nah, what? Sure. Yeah, but that feeling is is like what I can see us kind of feeling <clears throat> from the women in a in a, yeah. in a way. Yeah. But that's that's certain dudes too because none yeah. of us are like that. But mm-hmm. some dudes are starting to feel like damn we're kind of falling behind on the totem yeah, pole. Yeah, I personally don't give. A or shit. they want to take the rights from women because they see. What's gonna happen when they become the superior? It's like they're getting too much power. Yeah, because they are the most. Po- <laughs> I mean, crazy, bro, man. Men crack is you know something I'm not gonna name, but dudes <laughs> do a lot for that. Yep. Wars have been fought over that. So it's like once the women get into power, like you know, up there, raps. Y'all really feel like that. In a good way, because women. Oh, okay, because I'm, I'm not negative. No, I'm not negative. I don't like. I'm like, I, I respect. Because I've, I've, I've been hearing some men in in some of their um some of their you know um outlooks are very negative. Oh, oh, there's a. It's. I think it's a trend. Yeah. Now it's not to more so. I don't even tangent. believe half yeah, no, the niggas believe the shit that they say yeah. on these podcasts some or whatever. Be talking. It's a trend because they know there's going to be some simple-minded men that felt some type of way. You know what? He's right. Yeah. Down with these women. Yep. But at the same time, you're still trying to get with these women. Some people are trying yeah. to take the extreme Kevin Samuels, right? Yeah, the extreme. The extreme. extreme. Kevin Samuels. I agree with some points, but not all yeah, of his points. Because that's a person that's not self-aware mm-hmm. uh, of themselves and self-love. Mm-hmm. Like you said before, like... A person securing themselves don't have to worry about anyone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why jealousy was never one of them things that was strong about me. I never was like that super jealous. 
type. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're going to do something, you're just going to do it. It is. As long what it as is. I know I did what I had to do, hey, maybe that didn't work for you. That just didn't cut out. Like, it's plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah. But yeah. What I'm not going to do is be, you know, intimidated by another man or another woman Absolutely over a not. position, over because you're more famous, because you got more money. I'm, hey, kudos to you. It's a, man, it's a lot out here for all of us. I slipped one time in college <laughs> and um, got played, and I was like, hmm. And that hurt. It hurt real bad. Of course. Was, of course. One of them, like, it was it was tough. And after that, I was like, never again. And so yeah. I turned into that, it is what it is type vibe. Mm-hmm. And yeah. So that's when I started getting to that, you know, if, if it don't work out, it don't work out. If you cheat, you cheat. And the right person get is going to attach to who you. you. Get with mm-hmm. who you need to be with. You know, yeah. the right Because per- the right person is going to attach to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that's why with a lot of women, I don't understand why y'all keep letting yourself go back to the same person that's playing you because, you know, a piano keep getting played on for a reason. Yeah. You know, like you, you just keep lining up the keys every night for him. And he, you know what? That's going to actually make him do it more. Yeah. Yep. You know, it's and easy. A lot of the people that introduce people into the bedroom, a lot of them stories I've been hearing, I hear that now the dude getting in trouble because he doing it without you. Like, what the hell you thought he was going to do? Yeah. yeah. All you did, that was a gate. Yeah. And once you open that door. Sometimes. Yes. She let me do this. You give yeah. a nigga an inch. What happened? He's going to take him out. Yeah, so, yeah. Absolutely. like, what you think going to happen? Like, y'all smarter than that. Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, women, we are, like, I mean, y'all hear it all the time. Like, we're emotional creatures. We're emotional. Mm-hmm. Of course. Oh, oh yeah. One thing. You know that's so, it's One so thing. easy to get attached mm-hmm. emotionally to that person. So, like, the emotional attachment is just not that easy to Do you like, think it's the same now for women? Because women are starting to, like, I don't know, intensify almost. Like, they Evolve. Yeah, like, they're evolving <laughs> yeah. to being harder. I mean, they... I still feel like they're emotional, mm-hmm. but I don't know. It's like women starting to take certain things that you wouldn't expect them or do. Like the player women that be trying to, we all know the women at all. <laughs> I can get whatever nigga I want to. Yeah. 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 I, if your feelings. I yep. feel like those are increasing for sure. Oh, yeah. for sure. What's that song they play at the club? The, the club. That F-R-E-E. Yeah, <laughs> she seems like the type to have on Tim's and you know. Yeah. <laughs> Tim's and Annie like, She aggressive, man. That's yeah. being sold more. It's kind of showing women like, man, F that nigga. Fuck, nigga free. I'm like, that. I'm sorry. You got it. When that song comes on, you can pop it. Bro, it's special. A little chant, oh, yeah, all the and they just oh. it's rap. They the one buying bottles. Niggas be sitting there dancing, and they be yeah. hey, nigga, tap, move Appreciate something, you, baby. move something, nigga. Whoa, I seen a couple niggas twerking for some money. Yeah. You yeah. see? <laughs> oh no, what? <laughs> niggas is getting loose as a goose. This man said, "I seen a couple <laughs> niggas twerking for, for some, some money." money. <laughs> You know niggas, bro. They, they adapt too. <laughs> yeah. Man, y'all ain't the only ones. <laughs> I get this money. What y'all call it? But nah, yeah. So, uh, sir, I, I, I are seeing. Mm-hmm. So you don't think it's like a soul tie that is keeping that person around? Like, I think it, it's, it be I think it is. So I, I said that about just having sex with anybody. Mm-hmm. I uh-huh. feel like you giving them a piece of you every time. Yeah. Every time. And <clears throat> but. <clears throat> We all know the 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 saying, once you know better, you do better. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I feel Absolutely. like if you know the trauma and pain that comes with someone uh, not being loyal to you, yeah. but you, you know it's something better than this law, loyalty mm-hmm. and somebody being unloyal. So why not go seek or why not be by your damn self until it, you can. It, it amazes me because some people don't learn from their mistakes and yeah. they just keep bumping their head by choosing the exact but same But that's type the problem. Of like, we all know what it feel like to hit our head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what happens? Sometimes they like it. And that's the, that's, that's the crazy part. Is, what it is, I feel like a, a, a part of what it is, like people are afraid to go through the hard stuff because a heartbreak is hard. So you're gonna have to go through all whatever it is, it has the process. Gotta start and over. the process yeah. you it's not uh like, oh yeah, it's A, B, C, D. Nah, it might jump from A to Z, then back to Y. It's like it's not a straight, narrow process in which people, you know, go through when it take what it um when it takes what it takes to heal. Mm. So I feel like, you know, people are afraid to probably go through that and also to let go like into a self like hey because I mean it depends on which one is being easier at the time because some yeah. not all cheatings are the same 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, some people are cheating because you probably not doing what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. And he trying to make you, you know, like, hey, I come home, you sitting down with your hand in your pants, scratching. And what? I've been at work all day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she went the other route. Every time. Get your hands oh. in your pants. Oh, oh baby. I no. didn't know you was going to get home. About, so you caught me? What the hell going on in here? No, oh. I was thinking about a rash or something like. Oh, oh. damn. Oh, That's even worse. Mean, like, why is he got his like, hands okay in his pants scratching? scratching? So hey, now he's on the track. Down there scratching in the first. Now he got to go find somebody who's yeah. not itching. So <laughs> all cheatings aren't the same. But yeah, all cheatings aren't the same. It could be. Itching. It could be to the point to where he's mentally and physically abusing you mm-hmm. and cheating. It's like, damn, you gonna check all of this? That's tic tac toe. Yeah, three in a row. Like you know, like that's the thing. Like I'd rather you deal with a with the you know breakup process and find something better for you versus. Yeah. You know, being emotionally and physically drained, hurt every day. Maybe it's a, a survival thing. Like that's also killing people now. Yeah. Because now dudes are like, "Well, you ain't going nowhere." Yep. Yeah. Yeah. When they turn that switch on, now it's like, "Well, I'm killing both of us." Or, and yeah. maybe that's why they stay too, because they're afraid. <clears throat> that, like, that's definitely. Well, that's, yeah. that's, that's, they been trying to leave, but that man found her in another town. Like you seen the movies? Yeah. Like, nah, they the do one. have those. <laughs> Like, like you, that move, that show, oh, Netflix, show you yeah. enough. Oh, bro, you can go all the way enough back to enough. J Lo, like thinking yeah. you in a new life, everything going good, Pull up on just you. at your window, like <laughs> stalking your shit, man. Now that's like, a different story. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely seek help in them situations or find little ways. I will say it is more ways for you to get out of that now with the technology and the way people are trying to spread information versus back in the day. I feel like back in the day, you were just like, damn. You out of there, especially with our yeah. cell phone. Because mm-hmm. you don't have enough information, you don't have enough rights to know how to move around. But now, I feel like they try to share a lot of information for people who are in those abusive domestic situations to get out of there. And, you know, that's that's killing people even on a non-physical level. Like, yeah. stress is a killer. It's a silent killer. Absolutely. Um, and we want to spread this information, especially to the women, to let y'all know, like, man, you're not the only one that deal with people. Um, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of counseling. Uh, go talk to somebody. If you yeah. feel like you got to be there, then that's something you need to go seek help with. Because mm-hmm. nobody should have to deal with someone abusing them on a daily basis. Big yeah. At all. We all seen them people who women can't get text messages without the nigga. Who, who, who texting us? Yeah. Sheesh. That's Albert. So Who's Albert? boy. Yeah, so I think she's my manager. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> it's just my manager. Because there's some overly uh insecure men mm-hmm. that are jealous. For nothing. And they got Man. the prize. Bro. That's the craziest part to me. You got the prize in your hand, but you, you worried about third place and everything else. <laughs> all the accessories. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. But you got it in I your hand. I want that third place trophy. <laughs> that, that's what you sound like right now. <laughs> that's that grass. It's crazy. Is the grass green on the other side syndrome? Mm-hmm. Nah, big facts. You didn't realize it was fake. That, that astro turf, that turf, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wanted to bring up this conversation because I know we was going to talk about it. The whole watch Jazzy's podcast, yeah. where she had Instagram, Twitter, and an uproar with her comments on her being submissive to her guy or whatnot. To and, who guy? Uh, I believe she's dating. No, nah, what you just said, her guy. Yeah, her guy. Her guy, right? Yeah, her, her guy. guy. Yeah. That's a very key point. Submission. All right, I see what you're doing. But yeah, so basically she's saying I'm, you know, I'm People are mad. I'm, I'm I'm more I like to be submissive towards my guy. I like to, you know, do certain things for him. I like to make sure he don't have to worry about nothing and there were some people that were agreeing with what she was saying. I'm paraphrasing. Some people were agreeing with uh what she was talking about in the podcast and then there were a lot of women that weren't in agreement with it. That was like I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I don't like the word submissive. It, 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 it doesn't really, I guess you could say, for them, build that sense of of a union when you bring, say, the word submissive. Because mm-hmm. it seems like one person is over you and you got to do what I say and do at this moment. Yeah. So I mm-hmm. wanted to bring this conversation. And this was one of the things that we, we wanted to get a woman's perspective on here. So... I'm going to let you take the floor on how you feel about just that whole either the interview or just the word submissive being used in a relationship uh, manner. Like, and be honest. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this, is like, this is a safe place. This is a safe place. I feel like um, when we look at the term submissive in Webster, it's like it's it's like a person being you giving that person full power to yeah. say, hey, mm-hmm. you do this. When I say jump, do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> um, 
But if you look at it, like, depending on, like, your religious views and, you know, if you're Christian, you mm-hmm. look at it in that type of term, is 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 used in a def- different context, you know, mm-hmm. of, yeah. like, what submission is in that mm-hmm. context. So um, I feel like there's nothing wrong with um, both parties being submissive if, if that works for that relationship. Mm-hmm. Um However, um, I feel like if you're going biblically about it, I feel like um, it does say wives, not girlfriends, mm-hmm. not boyfriends. Uh-oh. Like Nash wives be no, submissive you to your no, you husband. No, you mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm um, with We are individuals, and in it's like we're, we're all coming into like our own mm-hmm. consciousness of like being individuals, like mm-hmm. whether you a man or a woman. So, um, I feel like if it works for you, then, Hey, like what, like, why does it matter what people say? Or, you know, like if that person want to be submissive and authoritative figure, then that's their business, Mm -hmm. you know, and that might makes them happy. Mm -hmm. And if they want to be non submissive and say, Hey, like, I want to be like your partner, like we're equal and we're going to operate out of a space of, um, respect, like equal respect, mm-hmm. okay. equal, like equality, then that do what you do, do what you do. Um, but I feel like True. submissive have been, t- has been taken in, um, uh, in a form where a lot of women and as growing up, we have seen that submissive in a toxic manner, in an mm-hmm. unhealthy manner. So when mm-hmm. we associate submissive, mm-hmm. when we, you know, have that association, we like, oh, no. Yeah. Because I seen what submissive did to my mother. I seen mm-hmm. what submissive did to my aunties, <clears throat> my cousins, my grandmother. Mm-hmm. And um, so immediately it's it's a turn yeah, off. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a. What? Yeah, <clears throat> submissive. Yep, that's like, all nah, submissive. Like, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah. And then the it's word. like, yeah, the word. And then yeah. it's like, if you are going to be submissive, be submissive to a man who can pour into you in certain ways and not just take from you or try to That's use you, and, you know, or, you know, use him, use oh. you as a slave Hold on. to, um, he was potting just now. Damn. Did that one only cut off? Yeah, it was just that one. All right, cool, cool, cool. Perfect. Keep that point. Keep it. Gotta delete the files. Delete. Gotta delete those files. So is that hooked to delete. that? To the middle one. Oh, wow. That's cool. Delete the files. Delete the files. Delete the files. Delete. <laughs> delete, delete, delete. Delete the files. Delete, the file. delete, right. delete, delete. Mm. Delete the files. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he would do <laughs> that. Hit him with the <laughs> Hit him with the shots. <laughs> Hit him with the shots. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, but yeah, so I I um I don't have I, I did used to have a negative mm-hmm. um outlook on submission. Mm-hmm. Um but I also found in myself coming into my womanhood that I'm very naturally submissive. Mm-hmm. You know, and which is it like if you know I have to protect that. I have right. to protect Absolutely. that. If I know this is in me, I ha- I can't just give that to new any man. Right. New, 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 you know? new, new. I hear so, that. Um, I know, like, I could probably be like a hard person. Not not necessarily a hard person to date in like a negative way, but mm-hmm. I I do <clears> give <throat> a challenge because it's just like, yo, like, I need. You got to gotta work your way into yeah, this door. Mm-hmm. You can't just, you know, which is like, with more women. So that I, I can go with the flow for a little bit, and I can, you know. You know, because sometimes, you know, that's where I was irresponsible with, was just, like, really just being in the moment, you know, sometimes. But now, you know, at this tenderness undeserving. of who I am now is is definitely going to be a different approach when dating because it's like, I, I don't, I know who I am what um, for the most part, and I'm still learning some aspects about myself mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. really operating in my full femininity. So, um and like I said, because I know I'm naturally submissive, it's like I'm not just gonna be like, yeah, I'm a. G-. You say come this way, I'm be like, why are we going down there? Right. <laughs> but see, that's the beauty also of being played in, yeah. a, in a in a way, because it, it makes you like it's a beauty and a curse at the same time. Because sometimes like it makes you a lot harder to 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 open or budge 
mm-hmm. as far yeah. as like in a relationship and it's it's, mm-hmm. it's like more of a defense mechanism yeah. Yeah, it makes definitely. sense to do that because at first you're probably more gullible more easy to yes, get into yes, and they just like they can catch grab your heart and then break it immediately like mm-hmm. without yeah. without problems now it's like you know you got to work your way into that barrier to get to the heart now. Yeah. Yeah. um and what i was where i was going with that mm-hmm. <laughs> the reason why i say that <laughs> is because uh shit i completely forgot where i was going with that <laughs> it was a blessing and a curse it's, yeah. it's a blessing and a curse because now you can actually you know safely <clears throat> more safely like venture out to people and mm-hmm. different people and um I really can't remember where I was going with that. He had it. I got you. He had it. I was right there. You're going to bring it back in a second. No, I got you. I got you. I mean, it, it's, it's, I think that the problem is a lot of dudes. That's what it was. Go ahead. Oh, you got, it. You got it. <laughs> oh, um, and it, and it, and it, um, the, that barrier also creates this, uh, for some people, the word submissive, it kind of scares them because it, it makes them only think about the author- authoritative side of that. Mm-hmm. And they're like, nah, I can't be submissive again because now I'm going to go back to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, Definitely. like, so they don't think about the mutual aspect of being yeah. submissive. Yeah. The, the That's guy doing the key. It, yeah, the That's girl the doing key. It. Like she was saying earlier, mm-hmm. going oh off what God. she was saying. It's like, they don't, people aren't paying attention to that. Like, she says she's submissive. She's not saying her dude isn't submissive. She's not saying he just doesn't do anything. She's yeah. saying her part. So, yeah. she's submissive because he's the worth being submissive to Two. in her eyes, is what she's saying. Both of y'all, those are the answer keys. I mean, just like when you said wives submit to their husband, mm-hmm. but you submit to a husband who's following Christ. Yeah. It's a, it's a, mm-hmm. it's a trio, it's a, it's a lineage. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's that dude has to be following foundation, the yeah. Christ, in order for you to follow him. Yeah. Yeah. And it all, like, when the, uh, when I reread it, well, when I came back to that scripture, it also said out of reverend to God. So, like, both of y'all are honoring God by being submissive to one another. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And if go. you're honoring God, you have a different moralistic approach to that yeah. love, that relationship, and that respect for that person. So it's not like this person is going to be like, yeah, well, I don't know. Go <laughs> I was about water. to say clean my butt, but, you know, like... <laughs> Make you do something it's that like you don't want to do. I'm going straight. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's so Lexi, man. <laughs> no, no, because I'm thinking like I'm thinking of like cringing things that That's, you yeah, know, I got like you, you could be put in a situation where you That's know. That's kind of weird though. <laughs> It's but like, people be weird. Like I didn't see some I mean, weird stuff. On your knees when you feed me. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> like what? That's crazy. Come on, R. Calm Kelly. Down. Now, like that's why you got thirty years <laughs> been doing some weird Facts. stuff. Um, so uh, goes full circle. It does. And usually, it does. I associate it with people's desires. You yeah. know, so mm-hmm. like people mm-hmm. have some real cringing desires. No, nah, I mean yeah. that's that's uh, the submissive word is always taken out of context when mm-hmm. you say it. It's and I word. will give light. I will <laughs> give light yeah. to women, only in the sense of some dudes take advantage of it, and yeah. they, yes. they do wrong by the word. That's yeah. why yes. a lot of women receive it wrong because a lot of dudes so take it and give it off as something mm-hmm. wrong. Yeah. Um, but no, you got to submit both of y'all to each other. Y'all are equals in this relationship. Submitting mm-hmm. to your spouse, your boyfriend, whoever doesn't mean. You're giving up who you are. It's you tapping into what both of you guys are creating. Yeah. How you both are meshing to become one. That's yeah. the whole idea. That's why the whole dating boyfriend, girlfriend for everything, I can never understand it because I might as well just be single. Yeah. Let's Doing be what I want exclusive. to or who I want to. Inclusive. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> But when you with someone, you should be trying to join with someone to become mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Um, because we're not going to be all young forever. God nope. said the same. We all make it to an older age. Yes. Who's going to be signing off on these papers? Who's going to be... You know, at the doctor's office with you, who gonna be remembering your medicine that you got to take? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it's you need your your counterpart, and there's some people that lose loved ones and stuff like that, and they have to figure it out. But a lot of times, then they'll have children and stuff like that that can help and can kind of uh, lead the way from what a spouse that you probably lost or something. But that's only because y'all have bonded a union, created offsprings to continue the cycle, and they're the help. They're there to help you supposedly when you get older because we know how some you know every dynamic is different but yeah. i say all that to say we're supposed to be bringing this together submitting to one another creating creating this unmovable void mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like i do for you i cater to you just like you cater to me cater to you. you feel me and everything they got, they had a problem with that song yeah oh, like being it, submissive it, 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 everything yeah. about that song is everything uh, dudes should be doing as well what? yeah i feel like um, I do. I've noticed, um, like, 
the younger generations of girl, like young women and young men, it's a whole different. Oh, it's like, different. It's, oh yeah, it's they like world is college. like a whole different level of whatever. I don't know. Like I feel like it's a mixture. Of everything. <laughs> nah, what you Trauma, said, whatever. That. It's literally whatever. Like, it's just, it's just, and, um, it is what it is. Yeah. Is in. I feel like I I be confused sometimes with <laughs> them because I be like, baby, like look, baby girl, like come on now. Yeah. You know, and then a lot of them are like into like different sexual orientations, like bisexual. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of them that are just like a lot. Mm -hmm. that so are they be on the girls gay. trip and they be like having fun together. <laughs> I don't know. Like they just be open though. They're more open though. They're yeah. more open about sexuality. They're more open about who they choosing to be right now. It's like yeah. I mean, which is you know in a way it's no cool for them that. because. You know, they're finding themselves and they're not letting nobody put a label on them for them. But, yeah. you know, yeah. I'm I'm always a, I, I kind of mesh more with the biblical side of yeah. things on a lot of stuff. And I feel like the more we're trying to do, the more we're trying to tap into, the more we're trying to freaking let robots get pregnant. I mean, it's just, we're tapping out <laughs> of a, the that way. That robot will cater to you. Of yeah. If you program it. Try, yeah. Facts. You program that robot to do what you want. To Until do. those yeah. emotions come through. Yeah. <laughs> program that bitch look, shut up look 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 you gonna I am that. tired of bringing your food S submissive yeah. override submissive override <laughs> submissive override <laughs> control all delete it's all right ain't <laughs> task manager she already got rid of that you can't even override it <laughs> you gonna be submissive to me human. But baby no human when, when she hit you with the human it's raps nigga you nah, done son <laughs> now i'm about to clean your butt <laughs> <laughs> I know you like that freaky Bend shit. over. I saw your search history. <laughs> bend it over. Bend it over. That's crazy. And I, I, brought, up, really I brought up them to say, because I feel like those are the ones that the dudes be looking at, because them to be the ones that's like the misandrous. Like, <sighs> like the younger, it's not even like women who like, kind of like, they just go live and up. You know, we kind of got like a different, you know. Maturity. Like, yeah. I've been there. Like, them. It's like in we those videos that comment in the most. That's because we were early most. '90s babies. Mm -hmm. Early '90s we babies. I'm trying to tell you yeah. the best. We was ever. different. And we then the those are the ones making the music. R F R E E. Look, nigga, free. Look. And it was just that deep. Look, nigga. Look, nigga. You don't need me. My God, damn. You don't need dudes. You are aggressive. I'm sorry. And then, the but it'd be funny because they song about it too. I'm like, come on, guys. But a lot of them, you know, a lot of them chicks that be doing that be in relationships. Yeah. I think yeah. she's in a relationship, actually. Like, dead ass. It really be like yeah, that, she's though. in a relationship, really? I believe. I'll sell this toxicness to y'all. But uh, I'm me rolling and my up family, with beta. Yeah. Right. We good. Uh, y'all tripping. Like, good luck with y'all relationship, though. Yeah. I needed you to get through this break breakup. <laughs> oh, so would y'all say, like, the people internalizing the music and creating it as their own perception is the problem as well? Because it's can the music yeah. controlling The music people. definitely influences yeah, you. Of course. Uh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. That definitely. It shouldn't completely. I'm not going to give it the complete. better music, y'all. We definitely knew, cause but you gotta think they don't really push conscious music as much as the yeah, uh, I shoot a nigga in the face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> catch very <a> true. <laughs> they don't. I mean, they that's don't. what yeah. sells is the violence and the uh, fuck nigga yeah. freeze. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what sells. That's what when you think yeah. about it, are the music execs just as mm -hmm. responsible? Because they definitely. they can push certain artists. They could. But they only push. They know what sells. What's gonna get that bottom they dollar? Hear. Oh, they're not gonna invite you. They're not gonna invite you to. The little Kentucky Derbies and all that, the little stuff that they do, but they'll make sure you get enough money to put pour that, you know, poison back well, to your community. Free. Yeah, you you don't you don't have access to certain things. Keep that chaos in their community. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the only thing that you can do for me. Yep. Yeah. yep, that's crazy, but submissive. It is the, the word. <laughs> the word isn't as bad as what people try to make it seem. So hopefully, um, I never watched the full interview. I didn't get a chance to. I was just trying to. I was surprised that people were mad about somebody else's relationships. Yeah, yeah, that part's wild. Like if you tell your dude to spit on your forehead every time he come home from work, that's, that's your business. You. That's right. Why am I mad? I can't be fuck. mad at y'all relationship. That's what, and you happy about? Hey, yo, hey yo, <laughs> if it works. Hey girl, he spit on my forehead today. Oh my god, damn. Right. okay. Well, she already. being submissive to her husband. I mean, her boyfriend. And you doing what you do? Cam probably needs to come out and say he's submissive too to help her, just in case. <laughs> but I just didn't know. I didn't know at the time when we looked at it that she was getting heat for that. No, she's, I was just like, damn, yeah, this is her really, relationship. Huh? People going in. Yeah, shit. Like, why are we? I mean, mad? I ain't gonna lie. I listened to a, um, a 
piece of what she was saying. And I, I actually liked it. But then when I started hearing, like, other things and I was listening to some others, it's like, it's to each his own. Like, yeah. it, it would work for her. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to do that, yeah. Yeah, I brought know. up one part. She... Like I guess uh our you sectional smiling? partner. Why you smiled, <laughs> I'm like, like, bringing it up again. You kind of smiled though, like, like bringing it up again. You start blessing every time you do that. You be <laughs> <laughs> having flashbacks over there. No, hey, no oh, okay. flashbacks on, on what I was about to say. <laughs> Apparently, she uh doesn't like anal, but hmm. her boyfriend or whoever she's with likes it. So she just she does it to please him, even though she doesn't enjoy. it actually doing it like she gets yeah. no pleasure and she, it actually kind of hurts her Oops. but she she likes to please him so <laughs> he said it kind of hurts her well that's what she said like it, it you know it, it hurts her like it's she angle. doesn't i mean it makes sense it's all the blood i mean, I mean about that's their relationship <laughs> yeah that i God. think you know will y'all do sexual favors for y'all partners even if y'all don't like it but the, 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 what the flag part I say will say is the hurt part. Yeah. If it's hurting. But they always say it hurt in the beginning. Oh. <laughs> Are mean, we partying tonight? <laughs> it's like, dang, you going to put her through that pain. Just baby, after three times, baby, you can be good. I promise. <laughs> like, we can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just got to lube it up. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I ain't going to do you like that. Wow. This ain't a robot. This don't have no problem right. when I do this. <laughs> Either you gonna take it or Veronica or you 9000. You might get that robot here. for Christmas, sure. <laughs> Not Veronica 9000. That robot. Veronica 9K don't say nothing. You can use that she robot. She shut up and do what I ask. <laughs> <laughs> and she self lubricates. <laughs> oh I get to save me some money on lube. Wow. <laughs> Become pre lubed. You can push a button like the uh, morphine button. Oh, baby. It's getting slick in there. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> It's go time. <laughs> Fucking sick. Me too. I almost <laughs> fell in Veronica. <laughs> it's funny. They, they, I'm pretty sure they got some shit like that already. <laughs> Bullshit, and this shit probably happened. Somebody take it. Might not be a robot, but I'm yeah. sure they got something. <laughs> but nah, it depends on what they asking. It depends on if, like, like we've been saying, it's more of a, a joint thing. Like, yeah. at, when you get to that point, you want to obviously please your partner. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But you also want to you know be comfortable in what you're doing as well so yeah. it's it's more of a like what you're comfortable with this is what i'm willing to do if that's something you want to do we can try it you know but when it gets to me personally when it gets to something like i don't know about that that's when i you know kind of have to pull but see, like, and that's like, the flip side when a man draws a line it's like it's no like whatever but if a woman draws it it's like it's still pushed on her, like okay, just you know. no. I think well, so. it no, depends. I it's, it's more. It's aspects. more. It's more of a stress for men to perform in the bed than women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah we, you don't we, think so? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You been talking about dominatrix. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a virgin. What do you mean? First question, and now you. Hmm? <laughs> She Beats said, I don't me. No, I'm a virgin. I don't know. Oh, Beats no. me. What you talking about? <laughs> I mean, I've never done that before. So we got that whole song, Pussy Don't Fail Me Now. <laughs> we gotta turn his brother out. So he went not want Mm-mm. nobody else. It's easier, so bro. It's we, we be satisfied with a little bit easier. We stuff. we are more we're satisfied easier than women. Yeah, I'll it for takes sure. it takes more. Are y'all sure? Hell yeah. You can't speak for every man, you know. I say that because I've even heard the You? Huh? Do you are you satisfied with a does it take a lot? No, I mean, like I was saying, just choke um, me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. He said, "Just shake your head, just choke." Because what if you just put know, your hand on my neck? I'm good. Sometimes a man like the dominatrix stuff, like. But it's more pressure for a man to perform in bed than a woman. Yeah, because mm-hmm. like, like I, there was a whole thread on uh, Twitter or Facebook. Mm-hmm. I can't remember where it was at. It was women. They was talking about uh, they've never actually truly orgasmed. Yeah, I've, and I've, then. I've, a guy's like, shit, I thought I thought this was it. And then the girl's like, No, that was just her getting wet. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was and then he was like, Damn, well I guess I nut every time, so <laughs> he just put the shrugs. And I was like, I mean, cause that's what we do. We at first, but when you get <laughs> we just that's do us that. the first time, but so, once you start but that's to learn, the thing, we're, we're easily satisfied because exactly. we get our nut every time. It's yeah. that's my okay. point. Like it's not we don't have like women, some women they don't truly hit that peak from every guy. Not yeah, every guy true. can hit that peak for. True. With, and with guys, we like shit. All we got to do is keep doing this, and it'll get <laughs> out of there. 
<laughs> Even if it's not the greatest sex. That nigga no. said, I'm oh, weird. We, we, Man, like, you'll play something in your mind. Just be like, You can right. just think of something. If, if, if oh, it ain't wow. working, you can think of a random porn scene in yeah. your head and be like, all right, cool. All right, that's Veronica funny. 3000. I oh, wish man. It was me. That's it. She did self lube that one time. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, Wait, oh. you never noticed this early. That's <laughs> scary. That was it good for you? It was great for me. <laughs> it was great, Veronica. I mean, <clears throat> um, I mean, <laughs> what is your name? Again? But no, like, like you said, I agree because it's, so that's pressure for women because my man could be like thinking about something else. But then at that no, point, you, just, you, you know head. when a man, if a man don't climax or y'all been smashed for an hour, something wrong. Mm. I'll just Unless he off appeal. That too. <laughs> Which that something too. is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a pill. I don't know the feel. I've heard some people say that shit. He was like, yeah, I was off a of pill. I was fucked for like two hours. That's going to be a fantastic like, seven minutes. Shit. And were they in their 30s? Fantastic seven minutes? <laughs> nah. Younger. <laughs> younger? Hear that? younger? It's some young niggas on pills now, bro. Yeah. What? Boys is popping pills in college. Erectile like, yeah. that's right. I know, but I'm saying that for us because like, that's, I only thought about that for like older people. No, I'm no. not talking like a Viagra. I'm talking just no. Nah, it's some it's some uh, no, no. stiff nights at the gas station that you. I'm, I'm saying I'm not just talking about Viagra. Is what I'm saying. I'm talking you know, about the just, rhino. I'm talking just rolling on something. Just on something. I got you. Like X or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Actually, yeah. real drugs and yeah. be on that shit too. Boys, man. boys will go. They they be like, yeah, man. I was I was going for like two hours. Like, yeah. yeah, that sounds I don't got terrible. Too much time. Right. <laughs> Who want to be doing all that <laughs> shit? That's a lot of sweat. I've had a long session. <laughs> Either that, was, or I'm not working out today. I was pretty today. damn drunk. I'm not doing two of days, <laughs> and it wasn't a one time. It was well, like yeah. a multiple set. Yeah, <laughs> like, but that's why. I mean, I just feel like it's more pressure. Go to your homegirls group chats and tell me it ain't more pressure. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, like, they got, that's she already laughing. I don't, I don't. I'm not a part of a lot of group chats. The, yeah. the women the group women chats. Talks. <laughs> That's where it lives. That's where it lives. He had the nerve to send me this picture. Ah! Uh, no! <laughs> oh, wow. But some women aren't a part of those group chats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Some of those group chats I are a little toxic. Some. I didn't see some. I didn't see it. <laughs> Very dangerous. Because I've been around some groups. Who like like I told y'all that night we went to, we had the whole fellas thing. And I was like, it's good that it's multiple. It's more than just my circle that does this. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. cool. Yeah. And so I was like, I was around circles that was talking about, you know, let's smash this bitch, this, this, that, fuck this bitch, da, da, da. Like, that's all they were talking about the whole night. And I was like, bro, this shit's boring. Like, I don't, I don't just want to talk about sex all that. We can yeah. talk about sports or something. Like, anything else, bro. It's cool, but damn. Oh, <laughs> we don't do that Like, no do y'all more. not get it that much? Like, that's, that's why. I, I guess that's why. I, I that's felt, why. I was like, damn, is it this hard for you niggas? Like, damn. We're not virgins no more. So, it's like, that's not the topic of the yeah, night no more. Yeah, I was no like, more. damn, I don't understand this. <laughs> women, we we don't talk about when women think we will be talking about most guys mm-hmm. that get it, but for the most part, it's more pressure on men. <laughs> more the story. More the story. <laughs> I never heard a woman that's like, "Oh, I hope I do it." No, I mean, there's some women that have a little bit of pressure when they they nervous or, or in a situation, but when it's all said and done, your job as a man, you gotta perform. That's yeah. that's really what it is. Yep. If you don't perform, they had a whole song about it. I don't want no one minute man. Yeah. Man. <laughs> they made multiple songs about it actually but as a kid I'm like damn one minute man don't sound like a good idea but wait I don't want to be a man okay, I'll be a devil's advocate is it, is it the one minute man's problem or was she just too good see that's when life gets hard it's a good question like what if what but if she's that he proficient he needs to straighten up his skills yeah nah he, he got you his, gotta, his stamina skills you, you gotta work then on then you just yourself. gotta work differently self, self care man self care cause hey, if you go hey, in if you feel it coming like 30 seconds you, you need to back it up yeah back it up <laughs> chill try something down, else <laughs> so for the guys again women move to the side real quick <laughs> boots <laughs> uh breathe take deep breaths Change positions. Think G. about something else. Because if yeah. that Change position's position. hitting it like that, boy, you need to move oh. around. I remember the homie told me he used to pinch himself. Oh. <laughs> he used to think about something else. Think about something you else. In that, and, oh, I, oh, and I tried this e- shit. <laughs> <laughs> she looking at you. What the fuck's wrong with you? Baby? You got a bunch of red <laughs> marks. <laughs> red marks on me. <laughs> you got to try to deter your mind to some pain to stop you from thinking and about it. I feel like that would make it worse for me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'd be like, what's Especially Ross. 
Put your hand on my neck. Oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> Max, you be choking. Oh my god. Cause that's something you found out that you like. <laughs> <laughs> you say I like that. I never even said I like. You just that. said he got choked. Okay, do you like it? <laughs> he like it. No, That's why he be wearing that. He said he liked it in the moment. Yeah, bro. He, he said he liked it in the moment because I judged him off camera. So <laughs> hey, whatever you like, I said every time I judged him. I judged him. I wasn't <laughs> expecting it. It wasn't he like, was a, like oh shit. Oh, but he liked okay. it. Well, I was. I, I was. Guess. I was like, you know how I he got ain't... choked? He got choked like um, no. with, uh, Scar when Simba was telling him to tell him the truth. <laughs> <laughs> tell them louder where they can hear. His you. eyes got wide. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm I kiss him. Just you should replay right. that scene. Nah. There you go. He got a replay scene. All right. I'm not doing this. Hey, hey babe, let's do the Lion King joint. <laughs> All I'm saying is if you 30 seconds in, you feeling that pull out. Pull out, man. And try something else, my boy. But sometimes when you pull again. out, they say, why you stop? <laughs> you better foreplay and make damn, it just as good. You hit it with your, damn, your shit good. You better that, figure baby. something out. Here we go. Just, you know, out. transition. No. That shit was good. Hold on. Let me, let me get no, you. You can't have to. You can't say that. You have to. So she already know you're trying to stop yourself from finishing. I mean, it ain't no fucking secret if you pull it out. <laughs> you got to play it off. <laughs> no, what? How you going to play it? Hold on, baby. Let me check my phone real quick. Like, what do you mean? You, have, you have to get <laughs> stimulated the yeah, whole time. Because you got to keep her going. I don't okay. have to say shit. I just keep it going to where it's just flowing. Yeah, just move around. At hey, that point. I'm like, all right, bet. Now to we can go back. How many switch niggas you know 30 seconds in, they... Oh, let me let me I try to switch it up, bro. I, mean, I, don't, on, shit, bro. I don't know. You got to pull out a bag of chips and start eating chips. <laughs> Sit a bag of chips. Like, that's going to keep you. got some fucking lays on the phone, baby. You got something ready. And give her something like, hey, hey, hey give me that dick. Hey, <laughs> Let's eat for a second. That's going to keep y'all, like, distracted. No, 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 stop. <laughs> eat, baby. <laughs> Like, that's a good distracting Take a thing. Bite, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you be thinking about food, too. <laughs> like, yeah, just feed me real quick. <laughs> I'm oh, I got up. you. I got you. Give me that dip. Give me that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Did you bring the dip to the bag? You got it. <laughs> if you getting in the food bag, that's Y'all right. prepped. Y'all, <laughs> y'all prepped <laughs> before. It was like, I know we like to do fruit sometimes, but today we're going to do still chips. still got that whipped cream? <laughs> you still got that whipped cream. You used Some it up all last time, baby. <laughs> Some of them grapes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I was but, gonna ask I wonder if that's still a thing Food like Is that still like a thing That people do yeah. I haven't done food in my uh, It's Cause messy. The first It's, it's, like, that shit it's like, like Sticky Yeah sticky yeah. Yeah, that's, That shit irritates It's fun when you first try it You <laughs> yeah. know Oh baby That was cool but You had the rose petals Lined up to the bed <laughs> <laughs> Whipped cream cans and the chocolate. <laughs> See, this is that married talk right there. But he's doing that shit. Tired of it already. Yeah, he's doing that shit every night. Yeah, but it's, at all. it's the clean up afterwards. She's like, oh, you're like, fuck. This is sticky. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that, but the like, my first introduction was like, "Don't be a menace to society." When they was mm. like in the, oh, <laughs> they mm-hmm. was in the kitchen mm. doing the food. That, and I was, was like, people do that. It was going crazy. Yeah, he was yeah. taking a hot dog. No, that's that's the kids' food. That's, the kids <laughs> food. <laughs> that's a little excessive. Yeah, nah, but, nah. It's like a, to get full course meals. That's in more here. like Valentine's anniversary. Yeah. You know, the once chocolate a year. syrup. Like, no, nah, it's too much. Sprinkles. Yeah, that's chocolate it's syrup messy, is a bro. freaking mess. It's well, a I mess. Like, I don't like chocolate. How do y'all know? Because <laughs> you've done it. We tried. Oh, no. Whipped cream. All right, it's cool. Strawberries. I'm not sure. Never done strawberries. I have. You should. You know what you should do. Oh boy, here we go. What should I do? Put them around your neck and <laughs> let her bite them. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of sexy. Boing. I done what the fruit roll up. The fruit roll up. Oh, she do the fruit roll up. The fruit roll up. You got to get the girl. To do the fruit <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course not you. Because <laughs> all you gonna be doing is just eating the fruit roll. I'm just gonna be eating the fruit roll. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Yeah. You don't want nobody to clip that. No. I done yeah. the fruit roll. Steve did the what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, nah, she do it, of course. The fruit but, roll up, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's well, I, I like the, the whipped cream is cool. It's easy to you know. Clean up and you know, <laughs> clean up. <laughs> you know, you gotta work Keep it moving. No <laughs> syrup, nothing staining. Ah, oh, yeah, nah. yeah. 
you know, sheets got to get washed. <laughs> with, Absolutely. With the, I think about what I got to do after. after. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> that's how you know when you're starting to get older. When you start no, thinking about. You, your time is more filled. Like the slots is yeah, not. Yeah, it's like, damn, I got to wake that's up. That's why I be saying people, I'm just this. married for two hours. Like, like girls, I ain't got like, that kind of time, boy. The girls be saying, if you're trying to get it in during this having sex for an hour or more, you're not having sex. I'm like, well, I guess I ain't. I'm not. We try to get it in. I'm not baby. That's a good timing. Like, I'm not intentionally trying to do it for an hour now. Our sessions do come on with full play a sweet and everything. Else. Minimum spot thirty is not bad because thirty minutes can go by quick depending on what you're doing. Thirty yeah. is good for me. Thirty is a sweet <laughs> minimum spot. Or thirty is good for me if it's a situation where you <laughs> you give me twenty. <laughs> yeah, I was about to I'm say at 25. that point now. About twenty 25. is great. We do everything 20, we need to do in the twenty minutes. <laughs> My knees ain't. It gotta be like a. It gotta be like a, a hit workout. As yeah. long as I'm going in the right hit, spots and you hit feel cardio, too, we're hit good. cardio. <laughs> because I'm a, you know, I'm a pleaser, so I like switch legs. Oh, <laughs> switch. Oh, oh, you about to not, uh, stretch, stretch, thirty yep. seconds stretch. Hey, I'm a pleaser, so I'm trying position. to get you where you need to be yeah. as fast as possible. <laughs> okay, you're good. All right. I'm great. My turn. Let's go. <laughs> Because <laughs> whenever she gets that's, it first, it's way better. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's always yeah. I've always like the art of. That's like my rule world. now. Like you gotta yeah. finish a couple times before I go. Mm-hmm. Especially like you when you you know you got that little vibe with someone, bro. You know, just start off with the floor plates or start eating, man. Like that. <laughs> how, that shit is fun. <laughs> start eating what? Start eating. Start, <laughs> start eating. The, the, start the eating. Man, eat the eat. chills. Eat the, the chills. <laughs> yeah, right, because we, we, we have food <laughs> over there, bro. I don't know what you was Not talking the about. Chips. They got eat some the dips, chips. strawberries, the syrup. sweet the chips, nectar man. between the legs, man. <laughs> the sweet Look at nectar. Ass. That's usually a good start off. No, nah, yeah. Because I, I think sweet nectar. I think uh, <laughs> certain women they you know they they feel like in certain situations they right, they gotta do the most to appease a man. Like we were just saying, it really don't take much. But if you're dealing with someone that's actually trying to please you or whatnot, there's nothing wrong with you know the poor play action and getting to that bag of trying to make sure she gets hers first. And that's you, that's really where you win at. That's where we submit. That's what, what's to your women? take on the pleasing and the uh, 30 second minute man. <laughs> 30 I second. mean, 30 second. Oh, the minute man. Yeah, dominatrix. The minute man would piss me off. So bad. It's Go like, on. sir, do you not like me? That's why I say it's pressure for women too. Because no. it's like, why is he going to See, me? See, that's the thing. Y'all be confused about him not liking. He be right. loving you. At oh, that yeah. Point. That's if he going is. in the minute, he like, God damn, this is the most <laughs> amazing <laughs> shit. Yeah. He probably <laughs> bust. I feel like that's, so that's like actually a compliment. To it's really? really a compliment. Oh, okay. He probably bust to you before actually getting inside you. Just keep it stacked. Like, thought about it. That's tough. I'm finally here. Yeah. He got so excited, it was just too late. It'll never. He realized, he was like, I fucked up. At 30, it'll never get that serious. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten 30 seconds. Anywhere close to that. No, I'm saying, I'm talking about the buzz to a chick before you. Yeah, no. (laughs) I don't think I've ever been there, but I'm sure. But there's been people like that. Because if I do, then I'm going to be trash. Yeah, that minute, uh -uh, like, it's, mm -mm, because probably, like, Depending mm-hmm. on the floor pre- floor play, mm-hmm. it's like I'm just warming up. Like at a minute, what's yeah. a good time frame for you as far as sex? <laughs> it's getting scary. Man, it's been a long me. time <clears throat> for me. Oh, Not shit. a long time. I'm sorry, I hope nobody even said that. Niggas gonna get it. Hey, yo, you in so the like Houston good, area? <laughs> I would think like, I got water burger. <laughs> I got water. I got a uh, ball and whips. I don't know now. I feel like if Cowboy I you know was to start back engaging and whatever. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'll probably it could go either or. I could probably like go longer because mm-hmm. oh, it's boy. like I haven't, you know. Hours and hours. Hours. <laughs> Lock that and door. Hours. You ain't going hours. nowhere. Nah, I got you I'm for not three that minutes. Tight, so it's a place. He said, "Lock the door. You ain't going nowhere. I got you for three yeah. I'm not minutes." <laughs> Three I'm definitely not the type that want to go hours and hours because at some point I'd be like, man, like, but let's wrap this up. Yeah, <laughs> it's time to wrap this yeah. up. Right, Dave Chappelle, wrap move. it up, B. Especially wrap this after shit up. I come, like, yeah, it's like, okay, all right, doing this to please him. I Get off seen, me now. Wait, I have seen women say mm-hmm. that they can go over and over and over, uh-huh. like, because women mm-hmm. climaxing is something that can happen consistently. Mm-hmm. So yeah. some women say, "Oh, the first one ain't enough. Like I can go past four. Sheesh. But women. But like, sometimes it, it can be like the back. Yeah, to back, back to back. To back, to back. Yes. Yeah. But I've, I've for, heard of that mm-hmm. before. For I me, think, I'm one strong one, and I'm straight. Yeah. Give me a sandwich. This is my I, best. I think shot. it depends on the night for me because oh. I'm one. I'm one strong one. 
But if it's like one of them nights we all we both off the drink or something, I might go twice. Yeah. I might be like, all right, yeah, let's no. reheat it up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> them, them two more rounds is, we can go I don't, I'm, I'm gonna be with it but um, for me I feel like it's more so how I'm feeling during yeah, it gotta be cause yeah. them two rounds oh, yeah. are rare yeah. for me it's like Christmas same exactly it's one of them like alright let's I'm one strong right, one in good I'm days. out I get in you I'm out. operating on E on the second round <laughs> I am <laughs> he I'm like, there. he like oh you wanna go again <laughs> <laughs> Dub looking like you sure positive <laughs> you I gotta go hit it you 100% <laughs> Do we have to? <laughs> gotta, go edit, gotta go edit a video real quick. Let me, <laughs> gotta go edit. Let me sidetrack you real quick. Look at that. Bay, you on in the eat? I mean, we can. Do something else. Yeah. Watch a movie. Do something else. Let's go finish the boys. You know I mean? Yeah, let's yeah. finish the season. I actually boys. do have to finish that. Good. See, there you go. I did yeah. just finish Stranger Things Avoid it. last night, night before. Mm-hmm. One of them nights. We're getting older. That's the scary part because I feel like, you know, women's sex drive continue to increase. Oh, yeah. And ours yeah. since to have that. We plateau and then we start to like kind of dip sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes. Yeah. Some guys. I don't claim that on my life. <laughs> but yeah, I don't women claim that, that either. That weren't getting them orgasms back in the day. They trying to like catch You never up. thought about that? How scary that would be? Like if your chick just want to just keep going and you just like, ah, babe. Wow. <laughs> it's like a nightmare. <laughs> Even if like, That's when them stiff nights going to come in. <laughs> going to have to stop by the gas station What's real quick. What's Go get you a night? gas station pill. Gas oh, somebody oh. sex pill. The stiff somebody, Dub, is that you? Or the oh. black man. <laughs> Hey That's man, can I name? get a peek? Look, yeah, can no, I get a these peek? are real names. names. Oh. Black know, Panthers. I know, I know the uh, Rhino in the Stiff Night. Oh, the I do know. Knights. I have heard of Rhino. Okay, <laughs> Stiff Night. In the Stiff Night, I the heard that before. Night. I what didn't know say? what the fuck. All natural. All natural. No, 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 no headaches. <laughs> hey, I got a question. Do they work? I don't know. I never. T- I was Mike, scared. Mike, do they work? Nigga? Yeah, I'd be scared it'll have me I erected for too long. You know how they had them commercials. If you've been erected for twenty four hours, hey, I'd be oh, scared wow. of that type of shit. So if, I'm like, if, I'm not drinking. If, if the homie, if the homie watching, you know who you are. He the one put us on this thing, Mike. He guilty, I was scared. bro. He laughing too hard. Laughing too hard. <laughs> I want to know. Do they work? <laughs> Ross, though. Ross, though. <laughs> this has been episode eighty. We appreciate no, y'all. No, yeah, that's no. the treat. So what he do is he take a stiff night, but it take like how many minutes to activate? Maybe twenty I minutes. Fucking, so then he starts to eat. <laughs> so that way he uses the chip method. He starts to eat the chips ah. until the stiff night kick in. Gotcha. Oh. Then he be like, oh, "I've been ready." <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, have you, have you used one? <laughs> no, I have used one before. Which one? Uh, was it a stiff night or something? Else? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, I actually no, want to no, know. I want to hear. Not, it. I, I used the name for Inform me. me. I used the Black Panther. <laughs> oh, you think it's, he wanted to be oh, T'Challa. My, <laughs> my boy said Wakanda forever. Got it. Was funny because I think Wakanda had just came out like T'challa. the right. What kind of pill is this? Yeah, so it was the Black Panther Bro. or whatever. Mm-hmm. I wanted. I, I thought I he was going. Try it, man. He thought he was about to suit up. Because one of the homies was like, "Hey, bro, I tried one of them ones at the gas station, man." I went all night. I was like, oh, okay. You gave her that br- vibranium? <laughs> oh, goodness. Vibranium. <laughs> so I tried it, bro. I tried it. Bro, or whatever. Oh, and, you know, we got into the mood or whatever. And then it's just, it's like, it's literally like, you feel like Did Black a bump Panther, on your bro. hair start to? <laughs> you start giving the, the bumps on you? Nah, no, nah, you really do feel like you Black Panther. <laughs> this nigga thought he was nah. T'Challa, bro. <laughs> oh, bro, he's ready. His his voice that changed. Boy was ready. Oh, yeah. He had an accent all of a sudden. Oh, <laughs> he said it's start feeling. Like I don't care. I don't care. But Ross, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. He's going to keep going right now. I don't. Man, care. That's hilarious. I have you to really give you this vibranium. You it is for my people. Yo, oh my you don't God. need a costume to feel like Black Panther. Just go get, uh, yeah, just go get the pill, man. <laughs> he just helped y'all out. Oh, there the you go for I everybody like, that needs it every now and then. Black definitely drink pill. water beforehand, man. Drink Sheesh, plenty of water. Why you got dehydrated <laughs> you, before or something? Nah, it's just you, you want just go. Just, you want to be hydrated. Well <laughs> hydrated because <laughs> one is, it's, it's one of those things plenty. where said like from example. after you you know what I'm saying you released yourself. You still in superhero mode. Uh, I, that's, see, that's what I was scared of. That's scary. You, I that's was like, 24 hours. No, the... if, if your penis has been erected for 24 nah, hours. Nah, <laughs> if it's that long, <laughs> Please call. And, and you may, you may want to get some help, but in the situation, hey, for me, it was like a few rounds or whatever, and then I went to sleep. I was good. But the next morning, you automatically hard the next morning. Like oh, most wow. guys, it's, it's yeah. already a The rap. morning would. So, so on be, top of the vibranium steel, it's... 21. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's, it's, a it's intense. It's intense. <laughs> wow. She's like, is that you? Yeah, that's me. That's <laughs> me, baby. Let's go on, like kid. Got, got a little vibranium. <laughs> vibranium. I gotta do this, do this for my people. <laughs> but yeah, man. I tried it once. I was like, oh, that's crazy. I may want to stay away from that because it's like, oh, no, you went stocked up, nigga. Man, I never no. heard nobody <laughs> say My boy just he promoted the Black hard. Panther. Y'all no. no. Get you a Black Panther if you need it, my boys. <laughs> See, Black promoted here in. by Ross. Nah. He's going to take off the mask. It's going to be Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Usually for me, it's the morning times is the best time for me, bro. I I love the morning. The Black sex. Panthers in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, <bro>. the all natural <laughs> me. He go, he go off of morning wood. <laughs> I mean, that's hey, usually that's when I'm the the like the most turned. That's on. the easy way to do it. Yeah, I just in be, the morning. Yeah, if they right by you in the morning. Yeah, sometimes. especially no, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, if they write, it's a lot. But I'm not. I'd rather it's long the, day. It's the position that you land in in the morning, like the spoon position. Yeah, if you spoon she in it. front and you behind. Okay, what if, what if, what if you in the front and she behind you? I'm still yeah, because I know and she she's took a Black you. Panther. Huh, wait, what? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> hey yo, that ain't it. What the fuck? What? Ross gonna be like, is that you? She be like, Ross, bring your ass over here. Like, he yeah. come, is that you? Hell no, bro. I'm out of here, coach. Boy, you ain't going nowhere, nigga. <laughs> that can't be the same girl I had last night. That can't be. That ain't. She didn't win it. Find out some things this morning. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she I got didn't see that. Hairs and all. So why didn't you see that? <laughs> You can go blind. You better stop. Oh my god. But nah, bro. man, this is a funny podcast. This was fun. This was really, really fun. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed Lexi yourself. coming in. Thank you, thank you so much for inviting me. This is I'm crying, bro. Really. <laughs> this, this was a good one, man. No, nah, it really was. No, nah, we uh, y'all definitely go support her on her Instagram yeah. again. Give it to him and spell it out. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, my Instagram is Lex Blazin. It's underscore Lex L E X Blazin B L A Z. I heard you haven't had nothing in a while. I want to see two Z's. And I'll try some of that. I tried for practice. It really does work. Maybe we can link up some immediate DM. I've been in my room all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, really? I go support. Expected. Really? No, yep. we were just talking about you toxic play. dudes. <laughs> no, they don't. They oh, don't. yeah. You can, yeah we don't just play. been talking about you toxic dudes. Make sure you come in anybody respectfully. Please, well, please. We're, we're, we're just, a, loving, we're, a loving community, so yeah. help people want to come back. Yeah, you know for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. We're, we're about supporting. I know we, we joke, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, we always want to push these topics and conversations so that way people can kind of see they're not the only one that feel this way and think about certain things, and you can mm-hmm. get out of any situation that you're in mm-hmm. if you want to. Uh, and God willing, always. At the end always, of the always. So, blessed episode 80. That was a dope one. 20 more till we at that 100. Yeah. We have to turn up for the 100. Sheesh. But we out right there, boy. This has been one of our longest ones, so yeah. y'all take it easy. Peace out. Peace. Woo! I'm in the club.